I broke in. Um. Oh. Yeah, let me just turn that. Yes, let's turn that. more towards everyone else. Hi! Hi! Everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. We should probably turn the music off. What? Yeah, probably. probably. I, I just really like it though. You like this song? Yeah, I like this song. Yeah, it's a fun song. How's everyone? I don't see our audio. Mm. Our microphone. Is that it? This is it. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we're back to playing 13 Sentinels Pacific Rim. Now you can see it. Now you can see our audio. Yeah. Wow. It's 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim job. Let's uh, go. Um. <laughs> Listen, we're not doing that week yet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what, the OnlyFans? 
Only OnlyFans only week? Only OnlyFans week. Yeah, we're going to play a bunch of naughty games that Twitch won't let us play. No, it's going to be the Mostly Fans. The Mostly Fans. Yeah, mostly the Fans. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your we're not there yet. That has not been planned day one. Yeah. Oh, did you put it on Twitter? No. You should probably do that. Yeah, I know. YouTube too? Yeah, I know. I'm going to do it now. Sorry. He's slacking today. Oh. I'm sorry. He you? started so late. I'm sorry. I'm just so late. Uh... Uh, net time stream? Net time stream. No, it looks, net like, time stream. it looks like neck break stream. <laughs> Look at you. That is how I do naps. Woo! Hey, Doran's here! <gasps> Doran! Doran! Doran. Hi. You know, to make up for the, the inability to throw me, I feel like there should be like something that just makes my head explode. Listen, if there's any way that I could make it, there is a way. I'm just lazy and I don't want to do it. You're not lazy. But it, there is, I, there actually is a way that we can make it so you could be um, interacted with as well. I just have another time to freaking do it. Anyway. Alright, let's Hello. continue this game that's really just a... Honestly, really, it's just a, it's just a moving manga. So, uh, a visual novel. A visual novel? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's not a thing. You made that up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, visual novel. Uh, actually, right yes, I did make it up. Um, I'm taking all rights to that. Everyone owes me money now. Who will? To be Thank fair, you, Mecca. to be fair, is this really a visual novel? Because it, it has like visual novel aspects to it and everything, but you can also move your character around pretty freely. So. Uh. So. Yes and no. It has some aspects, as you said. Hmm. Uh. But that was kind of the goal there, that they did kind of want to have a little bit of that aspect mixed in. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Honey, I was just thinking where about. are my pants? <laughs> oh my god. Lemons here! Lemon. Who else but lemon? It was a party, now it's a lemon party. Hello. Quack. Your character looks so, so, uh, dumb with this shit. Well, you know... <laughs> no, not really. No. What's on your head? What's on your... What's, um... I, I haven't seen that. What's on the sticky note? Uh, tell me jokes. Hell, jokes. And then it says a bunch of, like, other stuff on it, too. But it's too small so no one can read it. Uh, why did the chicken cross the room? <laughs> why? I don't know, I'm asking you. No. I heard one recently. It was uh, this comedian on. Appar apparently, he was being heckled by a German lady who was saying he wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. So he's like, "Ah, yes, the Germans. There aren't any comedy clubs in German in Germany. Because mm -hmm. what would all the jokes be? Uh, knock knock. Who's knock knock? Oh, who's oh. there? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't stop asking questions. It's my <laughs> charge. Or whatever." Why did it, why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was following orders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny, funny man, that guy. Yes, he is. Although I will say, I do feel like YouTube is at least for my end of it. YouTube is artificially inflating his numbers and like his his uh, noticeability in the art algorithm. But he's pretty funny, so I'm, I'll 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 give it a pass. Fair. Like, when it's just me, when it's, like, me, uh, seeing it, it's like, yeah, sure. You know, I, I, I I'm getting a recommend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, 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 when it's just me, it's fine. When, like, everybody around me is also getting them, getting his shorts recommended, then it's like, okay, okay, so we're just trying to, like, actually artificially build this dude's career. Okay, got it. Uh, have you considered the fact that he is absolutely hilarious and you are absolutely hating on him? And how he... Er how would you think otherwise? That almost ended up all over the all over you. But it didn't. But it did. But it did. <laughs> almost, honey. You almost made that one work. <laughs> what? No, no. I, I it was. It did work. It did. No, because the original. <laughs> Stop it! I'm not bullying you. No, uh, it's just because the original isn't. It... Chat. Nick is bullying everybody. Yeah. I am picking on everybody a little. It's okay. I'm no bully. <laughs> no bully. No, it's 
God, what was the South Park one? Make bullying kill itself. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. I right, In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> it's crazy that you can still keep it together, even with all this stuff. I, I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out too. <gasps> Five minutes in, there's already tears. Off to a great start. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. You okay? Look. It was just a building collapsing over there. So. I started making a joke in my head, and I thought it would be an even better one afterwards. What's that? So, when, you know, everything started shaking, she got closer, I'm like, see? This is how, you know, you get close to the girl that you have a crush on. And I thought, oh, hey, all those times when girls said, uh, even if you were the last man on Earth, and now here we are. <laughs> they didn't find us. So true. Yeah. Uh-oh. She's got the vapors. I mean, it's what happens when you're the last man on Earth. And the world pretty much is gonna wreck. There we go. Everything has been posted. I have made... Thank you, sweetums. Everything what? happened. Huh? Uh, it's happened. Well, mm. you really changed. Yes, yeah, my point. Suddenly, you're strangely more attractive to me. Are we working with you, bro, today? Mm hmm. It just makes me wonder why do you make such a big change to your image? Well, what when mean? the world ends, you know. Uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams and. You said you'd kind of go for tough guys. Cool guys. Streams. That's basically it. Oh, we should it. do like podcasts or something. What? Oh. That's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but I couldn't walk the walk, huh? So imagine she's a VTuber, but her VTuber model actually looks like a real person. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello. I am I human. Don't even know. I am human. I don't even know what that would look like. Also, this is this is the stupid. Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. Oh, shut the fuck up. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said I did. That's actually my username. What? All this time that's been you? <laughs> hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. <sighs> I only got so far because of him. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um. I guess I always sort of had feelings for. Over here! <gasps> Kill this man! Why are we killing this guy? Because we're about to get a confession, and all of a sudden he just. Oh! This guy out here trying his best and, just, you know, you know, supporting the girl that, you know, he has some feelings for, and she's about to go and say that she had feelings for the guy, and all of a sudden this guy comes over. It's the double cock block. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. There were other survivors. Damn it, I'm not the only man on left on Earth. Morimura-san, they're over here. Damn it. My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? Well, I was about to Me? say. I'm Tetsuya Ida. Hmm. Wow. These are all the events that we haven't done yet. Oh my fucking god! 
Ah, okay. But it does also have a list of dates off of, you know, the characters as well. So, you can kind of tell, you know, who has so more this stuff. this is chronological order? Mm, to a degree. Is it, like, more in order than other things? Yes. I will say that. But you'll see, like, for example, stuff at the very top here. 2024, 2025, and then 1985. Yeah. Okay. But it's at least in order of when we should be coming across them. You know, eventually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, once we start unlocking different paths and so on and so forth. Uh, eventually it'll all make sense in the order that it's happening here. Uh, but we're not at that point yet. Alright. See, that's 28%. Yeah, we have a long ways to go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, whoever you want. Let's go with Shu. Alright. Uh, one thing to note, the name that he just gave is not the name that, mm -hmm. you know, he has there, so. I know. I was just thinking that. I was like, I don't think that was his name. Uh, and this is the path that we just took here. I see. Uh, so, there's well, three other options that could have happened from this point of the story. Hmm. Very close, guys. Really Very today. close to one of those on the stream. <laughs> oh my god. From that show that came out in the middle of the night. just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so. Hmm. It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. Mm. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Yuki Inaba. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. It have me committed. So you you decided to say that part out loud. Yeah. Everything else is in your head, but that part that part had to be said out loud. Of course. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD 250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way, the school can't get on my case about it. That's a big ass key. I think it's exaggerated, you know, ah. so you can see it. Yeah. I don't no. think he just has a cartoonishly large uh, key for his motorcycle. Wow. Uh, unless his motorcycle just is that large and he looks like a... Like no, a... his motorcycle's even smaller. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, a kid tricycle size, you know. Oh, I was thinking, like, fit up your nose size, but that works. <laughs> he lives in, like, the world... Remember Eric Andre's uh, thing where he, like was on someone's shoulders and like had the huge trench coat yeah, and everything. Yeah. He's like walking in like, I would like to purchase an automobile. Do you have a car that talks? <laughs> that guy was not having it. That salesman? No. And not even like in the normal way. In like the I'm afraid of you way. <laughs> like like Might be out in the passageway. Ouch. Fuck. 
I don't trust like yes. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Tori. Exactly. I don't trust like that. <laughs> yeah, might as well talk to the fucking trees. Yeah. Huh? Gotta make sure. Huh? What the fuck are you doing? Just because you're popular? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. I'm sorry. A what? A what? Uh, uh, calling me fat? Uh oh. What the hell is your problem? Uh oh. <laughs> it's fucking oh. yourself. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> All right. Uh. Well, you see, what had happened was everyone. Do we not? I saw her hanging there, or half of her, at any rate. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe Kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? No, I promise. I, I wasn't being weird. You poor, stupid boy. No, I was boy. being weird, but like... I was, but not not what you think. But not like that kind of weird. A different kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, do we stay here or go to the old school building passageway? To talk to Karabe Kun. Old school passageway. I should get going. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Uh, we must confirm that you have a belly as well. Hey, Fuyusaka. No, you the only one fucking <laughs> don't. Stop <laughs> touching girls. What's wrong? <laughs> Mage House would just like to say, "Don't touch woman." Yes. Uh, a special message from the Mage House legal. Uh, department. Uh, you should not touch girls like that. You should always ask for consent before doing anything. Of the remotely close. But these women are fake. <laughs> <laughs> the Mage House legal team does not confirm or deny that Mecha may have sent you to Walk away for 30 seconds. What did you do? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the best worst time. Or the worst best time. The worst best time. He so oh, he no. he was trying to confirm the best worst time. He was trying yeah. to confirm that not he's trying to confirm that she had a lower half of her body. Yeah. Which she is really fucking funny because she was walking. <laughs> she was walking and she's wearing like just high well, socks. They're not even like Well see leggy. Maybe he saw the lower half somewhere and the upper half somewhere, but was missing like the middle part, and that's why I was just confirming that that was the. Okay, thing. do you think that holds up in court? The Mage House legal team. What would be your? <laughs> if you had to go to court for this boy. What the fuck would you? What would your defense be? There's a reason why I'm part of the Mage House legal team and not this kid's legal team. <laughs> Uh, was it a dream where you didn't have a belly? Because if so, don't talk to this guy. have been crazy lately too. Do you see robots too? You know, well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. That's not a yes. What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. 
A lab dream. Lab dream. Ah, uh, share. Or share it. Share everything. Okay. So this boy already has no fucking concept of personal space. So let's just talk. <laughs> just put it all out there. Oh. oh. Well, that would be the reason why he was That's why. checking for stomach. Wait, he's older. <laughs> Yo. And then I paced around the room for like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Then I kind of did this weird little shimmy thing. And then I, you know, <laughs> then I, yeah, yeah, like that. Do a little I, dance I, I kinda, corner kinda there. like a, yeah, kind of like Just practice my movie. dance moves. You know, you know, yeah, in the corner, um, away so from So he built a robot of that girl? Or something. Uh, he really liked her. Nah, I'm just, uh, I was just installing the firmware. Right, I'm like, maybe he's just like updating her. <laughs> Nothing there, so it's literally just going to be doing this thing. Good luck. Let me do it. To now, son. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida Kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. Am I plankton now? Had to prioritize her. Yes. Don't worry. We'll get you a body too. Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Oh my. Uh oh. Well, this is fucking creepy. Let's begin. Initializing composition. Quick, press the keys. <laughs> the simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. We have now made Robocop. <laughs> Please. Robo schoolgirl. <laughs> Kill all humans. Right? I just couldn't Wait. Are you his older brother? Did he even have a brother? It is you. Why does so he try to make her look older? Great. You know, I just thought about that. Maybe maybe he'll just think about that now too. Like, you know, maybe I should have made her like an older looking body, so this wouldn't be so fucking weird. Well, me. I, I could see a possibility where it's like, oh, hey, if you build her a body that matches her memories, then it's going to be less of a shock to her. And then we can, like, upgrade on. later? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd want you to build, rebuild me into, like, something like the big O. I know. I know you would. I, I already know. Something with big arms and, like, pistons and shit. Yes. That would be the best way to do it. I would not be <laughs> shocked. I'd be like, fuck yes! <laughs> I would not be shit to punch. at all. No. Uh, I personally would want like a robot hand, kind of like she has there, but then uh, the fingers can spread out into other mini fingers, so I can. So I go in the shell. Yes. Ah, that smart man. Uh, I, I need those, so I can literally do all the things that I want to do at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Until you like high five someone, and you forget to retract them, so you just like break it, break them all. <laughs> Cause they're so tiny. Instant Heelys. We all get upgrades. Or upgrade install Heelys, yes. Oh, install Heelys. I'm sorry. I thought of the perfect I, shoe. I can only see like half the chat because the tripod's kind of in the way. I, I thought of the the perfect shoe, which <laughs> is one where it's, you know those ones where they have like the sole where you step on it and it spins the little wheel like you got little rims on them? Mm -hmm. Those mixed with Heelys but with the, the soap shoe grinding bits. And hmm. moon shoes. Yes. Yes. I feel like this is something we would have talked about on stream. Alright, so we're actually going to make cyborg bodies for ourselves now. Um, other options in chat? I want it so that my legs and hips can lock into a, into like a sitting position so I can just sit anywhere. Anyway, continue. Underground. Huh? Cup holders? Aren't those just hands? I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The next time you fuckers want cup holders on the table, that's what I'm gonna fucking say to you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, I thought that was gonna happen. She's gonna like freak the fuck out. What's happening? 
Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Uh, depends on your definition. Um, I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kesaragi-san, you're like me now. An AI, based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh... Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Let me try to calm her directly. Robot hand comes out. Slaps her. R. O. K. We've got a problem with the Sentinel Zeta Kun. Uh, could you not, though? She looks like the same age, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe she just says red. Red. I want. I want milk. Are you just waiting for her to go on screen to play that? <laughs> You're just waiting the whole time! I've been waiting to make this joke for a while. <laughs> I guess her hair is kind of gray now. Could you imagine all that happens is your hair just gets gray? They're all natural grays, honey. No, she's blonde. She's older. I think is the implication. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think the idea is she's supposed to be older. The sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. Hmm. D club, so right? D code, eh? D code. We need hmm? someone compatible to maintain. Yeah, the D club is a different place. What are you talking about? No! No! No. Is this a bad time? No, please, um, don't look. Everything's fine now. Don't look that way. Yeah, just d d don't, don't ask way. questions, you know. Don't ask questions that you don't want answers to. Here, here's the door. Here's Let me show the door. You here, here's the it's door. Here. Door is here. Oh, uh, here. yes. Uh, no, it, it, it's a whole bakery over here. Yeah, uh, I got that. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> you should leave. Yeah, you, you, you should, should go now. Leave. Please. Uh, Stop staring. Yeah. Don't don't look at the computer. <laughs> or or the robot girl. Don't look don't, at don't, don't um do we have a or, tarp? We have to have a tarp, right? Like uh, you just um, you um, just like you like throw it over and like Don't, don't look at the hand over there. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said the whole baker in response. Uh and don't look at the Robot skeletons back there either. No, nope, don't. Honestly, don't even come. look at this whole side. You know, honestly, just no, close your eyes. Just, like, yeah, just, yeah. just close these, your eyes. These, these tubes, uh, they're, they're not, no, just don't, don't even ask nope, questions. No, don't even. Just, uh, here, look at, like, the, the screw on the table there. You can look, but that's safe. That's I fine. don't, I don't think that's, that's not a screw, it's a nut and bolt. You know what, you, you should just go. Just, just, here's the door. <laughs> Remember how I was saying I was going to show you to the door? Just the door is right here. Just, just, just go. Just, just, yep, just don't. Come back later and knock next time. Please. Yeah, please thank knock you. next time. Please knock. Please thank you. There's a, I have, I, you know, I have a sign on the door. Yeah. You know, uh, Ida's room. Yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, no, no girls allowed. No girls Ida's allowed. Ida's special place. Yeah. <laughs> when um, nothing nefarious happens. Yeah, yeah, just, just go, just go. No, I don't have Minecraft on my computer. You can't play on my computer. Just go. Can't play on my computer. <laughs> this is a this is a lot a lot of computers to play Minecraft. I run a server like a server um for like the entire state of Wisconsin. Yeah. Um. So we're in Japan, uh, but exactly. It, so I need like extra you know computing power to like yeah. trans. Met the data all the way to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wisconsin? Yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wisconsin. I tell you more, but later uh, after you've left. Yep. Yeah, just uh. Just, 
just, just go. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm kind of busy. Actually, there's like hackers right now. There's like some people grieving. There's a virus. Like, there's a virus there's a going virus. on. Yeah, server. I'm really busy. I need see to see all these leave. lines here. Uh, they're, they're viruses. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, you should just go. Honestly, did you know you could actually catch computer viruses now? Yeah. Like, it's fact, actually not safe for you to be here. Oh matter of fact, the line's going in your direction. They're oh, trying right. to... Exactly. They're right. trying to get to you. So, so you should go. Uh, Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get my room! Play Minecraft! Get <laughs> the fuck out of my room and play Minecraft! Okay. All right, let's do it. It's like, lady, did you just come in here and say, are you winning, son? Not basically. Basically, what just happened? Uh-oh. Really? Uh. It took a lot of screaming. Tony? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. I put him down. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. You think I'm stalling? Stalling. Stalling? stalling? Dream again. Stalling, yes. Gaslighting? <laughs> gaslighting. Gaslighting. Yes, gaslighting. <laughs> gaslighting. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Uh oh, you messed up? You messed up what? You messed up what? what back, to to the lab again. Oh, no. back to the lab again. We messed up. Back to the lab again. <laughs> 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 you know, there was once a time that I wanted a bed like this. Yep, not I more. had a bed like that. Fuck no. I'm not. No, listen. Sweet, that's an awesome one setup. One time. I, not even, like, I think within this year, remember I woke up and I, like, fell on a bed and my legs would work for a couple seconds? Could you imagine if that happened and we had a loft bed? Well, you wouldn't have fallen out. It has railings. Yeah. <laughs> like a baby? <laughs> no, like a loft bed. <laughs> you know, you, you can hate it on all you want. <laughs> loft bed made for babies. I don't think they make a loft bed any bigger than a twin. Well, then we just not go closer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> No fucking way. No. You wouldn't let us have a corner bed, and that made me sad. No, we can't have a corner bed. I want one. So much stuff would fall but no. into the corner. Well, yes, but that's why you put like plenty of blankets and pillows there, because it kind of makes your own little cocoon, and you stay in the corner. <laughs> what? <laughs> corner bed. Don't tell them, don't let anyone make you think that getting rid of your corner bed somehow makes you a fucking adult. No, it just means they're taking away your freedom. <laughs> okay, okay. Next you're going to tell me, like, the car beds and everything are next thing. I don't think we ever got to that head. point. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean gotten to that point? What do you mean God? What the fuck? What the fuck do you mean by that? Like you never, you never have approached me and been like, I want a car bed. Oh, well, because I don't. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it not never yet. got to that point. Best not be like making fun of me. Right. No bully. Right. No bullies no on bully. stream. That's no right. That's right. I was saying the corner bed makes sense. Uh huh. But if you have two people and you have to get up to the bathroom, climb over you like I'm... a spider every time. Yes. But that implies I would not be on the inside. Yeah, no, I would. Why do you get the inside? Oh, first you won't let me have a corner bed. <laughs> now you're gonna argue with me Where on who gets the inside. Put the corner in the corner bed. <laughs> oh, don't do that shit. Oh, how, how the turns have tabled. Speaking of turns, yeah. turn on that TV. Uh -huh, that's where I was leading into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into a uh, dead person. You in there? I'm not coming out today. Hmm. Thank God for all these absentee parents. 
Uh, I mean, they're working, you know, overseas. Or dead. Or I both. assume that there just are no adults in Japan. Ah, uh, because they're all working overseas. Truly, it's a paradise there. The candy of one. Candy of one? It's like that one... Uh, it's like a... Uh, Jimmy Neutron movie. Jimmy Neutron. I like the one part in Jimmy Neutron where they're building the uh, the rockets, and if you look in the background, you can see them loading a rocket into fucking dragon's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, good old Pam. Do the full dance. Probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never oh my god! He's dancing! Look at him! Way more fun with this than I should be. Uh, <laughs> the game designers did not make this for this. And here I am, just like. <laughs> Can you dance with the car key? She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Oh my god, please. So I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. I think the only new thought bubble you have is the the one in green, right? Uh, yeah, the blue so. Well, I technically hit it before, but now it's lit up green, so it's probably that. So okay. My name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. <sighs> I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes. Yeah. You putting it together? Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. Oh my god. <gasps> it kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. Oh. What? What? You're putting it together, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, now we can talk. Hello. Hi. I did the dance already. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. <laughs> Gura, please speak to me. Gura. <laughs> there you are. Hi. What is going on? Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. That sometimes a mask sounds like a is all wife. the idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. I'm psychic! This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. Uh, the system denied me access. Why were you blocked? Uh, she went against, you know, the terms and conditions. Yeah, it's US. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. <laughs> Kinda over my head, but I guess the point is, you hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. 
accurately. Your ID is the only one I could locate. She couldn't pass the picture test. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, because she is a robot. Yes. Yes. Me on that. I know I can depend on you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. Oh, Persona 4 looking weird, right? <sighs> Mind and body. Hmm. All right. Uh, we can't do anything else with Shu until we complete Not Snow Nami's Exterminator events. Uh, which we can't do anything with her until we complete Kitamaya's Girl with the Red Glasses events. Okay. Uh, and Yuki That's we can her. actually do right now. Okay, let's do Yuki. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> what to do? Indeed. Oh, I gotta drink some hay C. Hey oh C. my god. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. There you are. Leave me alone, I'm drinking apple juice. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for you. Don't you have anything better to do? Like give me some apple juice? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. I'm not homeless. And I am the Watson. <laughs> so Erica my brain if you organize those son. letters. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me Erica. Oh, like Sherlock. I'll do okay. My best to assist you in solving mysteries. Uh I kind of like the Scooby-Doo in the game, kind of. Yeah, idea. I'd rather be uh, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Where I do start? nothing, sit around eating all day, and you could be my dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in retrospect, though, this is not that great. <laughs> Say that. That's yeah. a huge conclusion to come to. Yeah, it's like you know something. Right? Are you upset with me? Yeah. Why do you know all that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Oh damn. <laughs> my cigarettes. My cigarettes. I need this. <laughs> I, need, I need my nicotine fix. Now, John, my childhood we went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? <gasps> I just keep the trash. You can keep the trash! Uh, uh, excuse me? Feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Um. That damn four eyes. <laughs> uh, what is this trophy for? The thinker. <laughs> Sorry, our stream just freaked out right as Doomsday Bog died! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Doomsday! Hello! Started the thought cloud entries 100 times. Oh. Okay, cool. 
Alright, go ahead and see if you can. Says there's some spy agency. It's Just short continue for special now. investigations mm. unit. Ah, uh, hello, Hi. Hi. Hiya. Hiya, indeed. Hiya. Cops. Been playing way too much. Zelda. Sorry. Legend of Zelda. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna talk to this. What we um? What vehicle parts have we gotten in the game yet? Not very many, because I'm not <laughs> doing that. I love mystery novels. You can make your faces all you want of me. The cute little faces. Just choose the fact that I'm getting the map, so we can actually go places. Are you following me? Are you teasing Pumpkin today? No! No bully! Yeah. No bully! It is the no bully stream. <laughs> Please no bully. Please no bully. No, it's okay. There's the trash. There's um. the trash. Oh, we can examine it. Looks nothing like me. This Don't be mean to yourself. <laughs> he got a 92? Oh, I've been bonked. Bonk. Been bonked. He's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. <laughs> Yeah, Hi. he study, and talks to TV. Yeah. And then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Maybe he wasn't happy with it. Yeah, one to one hundred. Yep, still an idiot. Maybe I don't know. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Is that true though? Like, is he actually? Neko seems quiet. Oh, me? He's over here sipping his monster. He's yeah. thinking about stuff, contemplating stuff. But yeah, he's a little quiet. That's true. You feel okay? I was tired. Mm hmm. Long day. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Uh huh. Well, at least I'll try to be. I just don't know. I just ah. don't know. No matter how hard you try, you can't shake it off. But I must shake them. They're there. Yeah. What should we look Hold into on. first? <laughs> I've got a mission for you, madam. Yes. I need I need you to find me. This is why I do if it were her. Mm. I need you to find me three feet of fallopian tube. She might know what that is, though. Damn it, she might know what that is. Like, Fuck. She might actually know. What that <laughs> that is. only works if no one if they don't know. Bishop needs booba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are you saying we gotta make a, a fem bishop we, model? We make a fem bishop. You don't know what you're requesting. I know, right? I was like, uh oh, I don't know if you want to give him that a, much power. A, bit, a bishop. <laughs> that is a lot of power to provide me. <laughs> he was, if he was a devious bastard and hot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Then I would have all the power I need. According to this one bad take I saw on Twitter this week, all you have to do to get 10k followers is just be a girl VTuber. I mean, see <laughs> it. I <do> eyes. <laughs> I, uh, absolutely. That would just be permanent. Yeah. Um, yep. Says there's some spy agency. <laughs> Listen, you get the model, I'll rig it for you. Unit. They may not be caught, but they're honestly all the same. Alright. So there's a few things we can do here. The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Wait, there's a handkerchief on the roof? Wait. We're going back! We're going back! We're going back! Watch it! Follow! Follow! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> Can we not? Can we yes. not go? Everyone loves Booba. Can we not go back? Unfortunately. Booba is, ever, is never not good. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It's true. Maybe not chance in here. Or not. What? In a random There's classroom? There's windows. In a random classroom. <gasps> Yo, random class 1C student. <laughs> Tell us what you know. Natsunomi Nami's still out, huh? Seems like it. 
Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, I was the one that, like, that killed her and stuff, that. but, you know, I... Uh, she was always <laughs> hurrying to the track room at break. And there's that one time that she talked to the guy that I liked, so that was a problem. That was a problem, that's right. And that, and, you was. know... Was. She... Was a problem. And if, theoretically, <laughs> I was in the same house as the boy that I like, and right. she showed up, then mm -hmm. there would be problems. It was a problem. Yes. yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. But that didn't happen, so... Right. It's not a problem anymore. She also kept talking about BJ? This is a murder mystery? This is like a... <laughs> I don't know, it's... It's... So, this story has 13 different characters you play as, and there's all this time travel shenanigans going on, but each character has, like, their own plotline that all converges back on, like, a doomsday-type scenario. Yeah. Giant robots. You know, this game is so good, right? And it's... it's Macro. There's so much going on. Hello, Macro! Welcome! Yes. Hi! Uh, but yeah, it's... It is, a uh, It's really interesting so far. I think we're only, like, not even halfway through it at this point. Like, we're not very far. Oh, yeah. Even I got all the trophies? Nice. I heard my name. Yes. <laughs> Doomsday, meaning you, Doomsday. It all converges on you. Yes. yes. So you be are... ready. Yes. How's everything going? Good. Oh, all right. Oh. Pause. Uh. Pause. What? Random train fact. Wait, why yeah. are we pausing? Because it's a random train fact. I want to hear this. And the, and the oh train god! Fact. So I, I'm starting to regret that. Um. <laughs> so. Uh. Now, I don't remember where exactly this was and everything, but a long time a long time ago, uh, there, there was a particular logging railway where they kind of had a problem of installing uh, track. So they're like, they're like, fuck it, why don't we just make the track out of wood? Like, all of it. So they did. I mean, it... Wait. All of it? Yeah, wooden, like even the metal part. Yeah, wooden rails and everything. <laughs> and actually, it huh. it worked. It was significantly cheaper than making a traditional railway. But how long did it last? Uh, did it work? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Only as long as the mill the mill was operational. Um, also, since huh. that one feels kind of weak, I'll give a side. I give a, a B a B side one. Um, there was one. There was one gentleman who basically had patented and created a type of railway system where essentially the trains were like thin and tall like thinner like 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 half the half the width that they normally would be and twice the height so it was like the trains would run on um like a single inline set of wheels thing like inline skates with uh is that the one that you mm -hmm. cool yeah, so, yeah so so uh so the 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 main wheels would be flanged on both sides so they could sit comfortably on the rail and it wouldn't like come off or anything and then there was a rubber rubber set of wheels above the train so that it could work off of a wooden rail that was uh put a put across it so it technically wow. did have two two wheels they were just you know vertical and everything but essentially it was like a unicycle train uh and they they were found to be very effective. However, uh, they had two big problems: the carriages and locomotives and all that stuff were too thin to really carry freight. They were only good for passenger service. Okay. Uh, and the infrastructure required to use them would just be way more expensive because you have to make an overhead rail, and then train stations would basically be by level because you would have to have a way to get up to the second story of all the coaches and everything. Right. So they were a really cool idea. They were, you know, pretty good for what prototypes were made, but just overall, you know, not not particularly cost effective, hmm. uh, not reasonable to use, which is sad because something about a skinny ass train <laughs> just going through just going through town and everything that's on just one set of wheels, you know, that's right. It's it's, it's ball <laughs> it's baller as hell. Anyway, there you go. There's a train fact. Double tree. Mm. Yeah. But we're doing good today. So. Oh my god, short. Motherfucker. Tort. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to really give it a double trade fact, but now that, that does make it a triple train fact now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Three foot price two. 
let's see. The largest operational steam locomotive Look, in... I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think it's <laughs> his cause. He's obviously made up his mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. The, the largest operational steam locomotive in the UK is running on a private railway, a very small private railway, mind you. So current. Just a, just a single stretch of track, so they can't even run it at full speed. And it's technically on five foot uh, broad gauge. But, the, but gotta be said, the, tr the locomotive itself is very pretty, but it's it big. Like for British, even by British train standards, it's, it's fucking huge. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Uh. Cool. Yeah. She seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? Well, uh, thanks. I guess that's where we're going. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Uh. Talking about BJ. She was. She kept saying something about BJ. <laughs> Is there anything else you noticed? <laughs> uh, that is the cost of going AFK. <laughs> no, you know what? No, you get you get you get a different one. Oh, oh, no, you paid for it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Legal team approves. Happy okay. You. Legal team approves! What the fuck? I feel everyone that we have on our streams is just part of our, like, quote-unquote company. You guys aren't even, like, anything else. You're just that, I guess. <laughs> like, it's just really funny. <laughs> Staff <laughs> Okay. Um. So... If memory searches me right, mm -hmm. the um, the last standard gauge uh, last standard gauge railway to stop using steam locomotives was China, and I believe the mid twenty tens. Okay. Uh, but funny enough, because of how long they were using those steam locomotives for, and the reason why it wasn't really a lack of infrastructure or anything or, or improvement, maybe a little bit of money cost. But the real reason is because these were locomotives using coal fat, uh, coal, coal mines where you know fuel was plentiful. So, you know, mm. why why upgrade when you have plenty of fuel there? But um, because these locomotives were used used in such a short, you know, they were uh, mothballed not that long ago. A lot of them are still pretty much in perfect functioning order, which is why online you can actually order a functioning steam locomotive from one of these coal mines and they well, will ship it to you well, wait well how much is that uh last time i checked for one of them in perfect functioning order i think it was like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars all right chat here's our patreon link <laughs> uh and it's it's like fully refurbished and everything oh, that. no 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 so no um and even even less for like standard gauge engine or sorry uh, narrow gauge engines there too which there were plenty of those as well um also huh? uh while not the most numerous class of steam locomotive china rail did build one of the most i would say say prolific locomotive classes with their qj there those were introduced in, 19, in the mid 80s and there were like thousands of them built and the fact that, and that would that wouldn't that would be one thing if it weren't for the fact that the QJ class was huge. These were fairly big locomotives. So uh, as a side effect of that, there actually if you visit China, there are plenty of major cities you can go to where they just have QJ class locomotives on display. In fact, uh, an American company here. Uh, sorry, well obviously, fuck. Sorry, let me rephrase that. A company in the U.S., like an actual railroad company, like one of those private ones, they actually bought a China Rail uh, QJ class that they operate for, like, excursions. Hmm. Uh, okay. so... Lynn hmm. says we should let you buy a train. Also, well, yeah. also cool. <laughs> Hello. Listen, if I buy a train, it's going to be one of the multitude of them that are just kind of sitting by America's, like, highways. 
Uh, like, there's one that's in Zephyr Hills. I wanted to buy that thing so bad. Because mm -hmm. I would refurbish that and run it on my own property. But I uh, have to own property in the U.S. first. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get a Patreon link out here. So then that way we can get... The train for a Could you imagine our GoFundMe is just to yeah. buy a fucking train? Uh, we don't know where we're gonna put it. Maybe on like the roof or something, but that's fine. Yeah, we could do that. That would be structurally stable. Yeah. yeah. No question. No questions. Yes, the multitude, like the 48 to yeah. tons of locomotive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, joke's on you. This roof is rated for 49 tons. Damn. Oh my Ooh. god! You have like one really fat squirrel that sits on it and crashes through the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. When the insurance says, why would you think that was a good idea? Well, we didn't expect the squirrel. We didn't expect the so, squirrel. So, a little fun, a little fun <laughs> side trail. I was at a train store, like a model train store a while back, and I met this guy. He, he I think he was like 84 years old. Okay. And he told me how, like, when he was little, when he was, like, a little kid, like, he would have been, like, maybe, like, six God, or seven. Another freaking coffee. You can continue. Um, <laughs> he was, so this, he was dressed in, like, a little sailor suit. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. And it, they lived near, near, uh, near a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a rail yard. And there's a guy with his switcher locomotive, which those are the short ones that are meant to kind of go back, back and forth and shunt stuff. Mm -hmm. With his switcher locomotive, he sees the kid, and the kid's just waving to him and everything. This engineer goes up and set and and picks him up. He's like, "You want you want to go? You want to ride?" Mm. And he takes him and puts him in. He puts him in the coal tender. Mm. Uh, you know, right right in there and takes him up and down the uh, the actual yard. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, is that you know this was his Sunday vest he was wearing, mm. and his mom was oh, pissed because no! it was a white sailor suit and he came it came oh. back. Completely, completely oh, black. Yep. Yeah. His, his mom was oh, pissed no. about that. <laughs> and ever since then, his mom told him he couldn't go to the rail yard again, so he went there every day. <laughs> That's how you do it. I <laughs> see. Day. Okay. Uh, not Tsunami Nami. <sighs> I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. Oh. Damn. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. Notebook. Yes. Did it happen to say death note on the front of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got another train fact if anyone wants to wants to do another one. <laughs> Mecca was so reluctant and now suddenly. Well yeah, I got the all... ball rolling. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he got warmed up. Right. Choo choo. Choo choo. Was there something else? Uh, there was actually. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll let you know. Huh? She was. She's a name on the list in Forais' file. Oh. Her name, it was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. And now we have a name instead of just a student. I see. Something else? Oh! We have some other, other people. Oh. Hey, not John's friends. Well, she's not her friend. Ah. <laughs> Whose friend is she? Not Chan's friend. Laugh. Can I <laughs> just fucking do a Jeb Bush. Just please laugh. No. <laughs> Every time I bring that one up, I just like to say we don't talk. We don't do politics or anything. That's not a political it's joke. Just funny. It's just, it's just funny. Really funny. In and out of context. Please clap. How does she wrote these names, dude? Uh, cause she's the best detective ever. Guess so. Uh, hey Kate, you're about to drop your stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Like, <laughs> just 
go around messing with people. Can you talk to her? No. Uh, not to the second girl. I just wanted to see if there's anyone else around. Okay. So, I gotta be honest, this chick is following us. Uh, what's her deal? Oh, she's like our assistant. Yeah, she's our but she seems like an alien. Well, like she's that's one of the why... aliens that's gonna like stop us from doing what we need to do. And that's why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have a minute. <laughs> I got some things to ask you. Yo, come over here. I mean, also <laughs> with her deal, when we were at the special investigation unit office, she was introduced, and, you know. Uh, she's been with that group for a while, and she's been assigned to basically follow us. Right. Ah, I see. She had a little bit of a different attitude at the office, and now she's trying to be a little bit more friendly here, I guess. Yes. For reasons that we don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I guess that makes sense. Now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Did you murder her? Any news since? <laughs> Did you kill her? <laughs> oh. Well, investigation's done. Moving on. Have a minute. I got some things. Yeah. Can you just talk to her? So, uh, yes. Oh. Sukebon girls? <laughs> oh, are you like hiding a razor in your skirt? Right oh my now? god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! She's got a fucking yo yo weapon. Woo! Or a rocket launcher! Oh, wow. Uh, is your friend okay? I was gonna say Japanese TV is better than ours. Because <laughs> in the 80s we got Full House, we got fucking, uh,. We got the now you. Family Matters. That was more nineties. True. I know. Yeah. All I could think of was nineties ones. I can't think yeah. of Yeah. Well nineties I think was truly the age of the sitcom. Yes. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. But we got Dallas and shit in the eighties. Whereas in Japan we have Girl uses coins to fight an entire gang. <laughs> really, really. We had Ninja Turtles. That was fun. We had the nanny. That was still mm. 90s. I don't care. D oh. <laughs> sorry. I'm you, sorry. No, no, I just, just want to say, you see this, see this, see this, right here? See what yeah. that, you know what that is? No. That's the wind of my sails. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, you, you just did, you just went, you just went, get that shit out of here! I'm sorry! It's mine! Anybody here want to look ah, like no. a little bitch? No! <laughs> no! It's okay, this is a bully no. each other's stream. By the no end, bully. by the end, we'll just start shooting each no. other. No. no bully. No bully! <laughs> Man, Chad, I'm the only one who doesn't bully anybody over here. That's what you got there. Because I'm a good like noodle. It. I'll try it. Uh, I do. I'm a good noodle that you should always trust and don't question anything I say but, ever. But I'm a good noodle? Wait a minute! Wow. <laughs> you go in the bully corner. I actually corner. don't like that. Have fun. Oh, okay. You go in the bully corner. It over with Mecha. That, huh? No! I don't want to go in the bully corner! You two are in the bully corner. No! no! But we're in the corner together. That's true. And there's a hot tub over here. Teacher! <laughs> Teacher, Pumpkin and Mecca are making out in the bully corner. Oh <laughs> no, get out of get no, that's it. Both of you, get out of the bully corner. Uh uh, you're 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 stinky. No, you're stinky. <laughs> oh, guess we have to stay in oh. the bully corner. <laughs> Teacher, uh, it does look like they do have to go back to the bully corner. Oh my god, no. <laughs> So yeah, funny. never give us our own space that's like supposed to be a punishment space. We'll just ruin that. Not because we're gonna do anything like that. I'm I'm uncomfortable with PDA most of the time. 
Like, like, super crazy. Are you, you know happy I mean? that friend who would literally put up a shade for you guys? This is I, why I'm glad that we all didn't go to high school. I, well, the thing is, I wouldn't have done that anyway, but we definitely would have just taken the opportunity to talk to each other. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't have been a bunch of shit. Well, considering how much shit the teachers let, it, let us get away with because we were cool, like, I don't know, one time we just, like, sat in the guidance, or not guidance, the, uh, the office assistant's office and just kind of talked. Yeah. And drew shit on her whiteboard. Yeah. Yeah. So it was probably about school stuff, though. I was pretty, like... Yeah, it was, like, four foods, or, sorry, four school stuff, but we, like, I didn't know, do anything. I was, I was pretty, like, on top of shit, though, in school, so... Oh, yeah. So... I didn't really fuck ooh. around that much. That reminds me, in fourth grade, uh, our teacher, uh, he had this corner that he would put you in, you know, a timeout corner. If you got in trouble, that would separate you from everyone else. Okay. And you had your own little desk there, and you could oh, be there for like yes. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, well, normally it was reserved for kids who were, you know, acting up and doing things that they weren't supposed to. Uh, I hated like two thirds of, you know, the class. Okay. Because they were all mean. You know, yeah. Just generally not nice people not to be nice around. nice people. Yeah. Um, so, usually I had to get paired with, like, a group of kids, because you usually have, like, groups of six with their desks all together, mm -hmm. you know, in, like, little pods. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd always get paired with, like, the worst people. Mm. Uh, so, I realized that I could game the system by getting in a little bit of trouble, just enough. Where he would put me in that, like, timeout corner, but not enough that he would tell my parents. So that way I would just get breaks from it. <laughs> so the first few times that I did this, you know, he was like, oh, hey, this is kind of weird. You don't normally get in trouble, but okay, Devin, you need to know right, the rules. Right. Timeout corner. So I'd go there, pay attention to everything that he's doing, you know, take notes like normal, be a good noodle. Mm -hmm. And then he would go and say, okay, it's time to get out of the corner. First couple of times, I'd go back and be really disappointed. And then after a while, I'm like, all right, well, let's keep doing this over and over. I'd spend more and more time there. He started catching on finally when, you know, he said, all right, time to go back over. And I said, oh, uh, I think I should stay here for like another five, ten more minutes. You know, <laughs> at least until after you finish this portion of class. You know, <laughs> because... And he kind of squinted at me. I'm like... Oh, I don't want to distract everybody else, you know. And that's when he knew, oh no. <laughs> he's not being bad, you know, because he's not paying attention. He's doing this on purpose. I just feel like if you notice your student can't pay attention, why would you punish them by making them do things they don't want to do? I don't know. Well, for me, it, for me it was a punishment to be around everyone else. Right. For him, it was like, oh, hey, well... Most kids want to be around everyone and interact and so on and so forth. I'm like, no. I literally don't like any of these people here. No. Uh, but then he was really cool and he was like, okay, well, uh, I've also heard rumors that you were getting bullied during recess, so instead Aww, of going outside in recess, you can actually hang out here and like, read a book or something. You know, so... Okay, you I got to middle hang ground, out there. I guess. Yeah. You other children? Yeah, I'm not... Um... I don't know. I don't know, Bishop. Why does why does a teach why does a when your entire class doesn't know how to fucking behave themselves mm. and and they're just being loud even though we've been warned if we acted up while for the uh, substitute teacher while our main teacher was gone he was gonna like super punish us mm -hmm. and then everyone was acting up and the moment that I said like hey we should be quiet. The fucking, the fucking teacher is like, Mecca, I told you all to be quiet. <laughs> I told you, like, like you are all in big trouble. And it's like, it's like, why am, why am I being si singled out? I was telling them to be quiet. How dare you talk back now? Now you're going to the principal's office. No one was nice to the stuff. What was the thing is that our class, like, whatever class I was in, they were all always fucking awful. It didn't matter. I tried being nice to you this uh, uh, most of the time that I was in school. Uh, there were some times that I just didn't care and I just said, alright, whatever. But there were some that were actually trying to be nice, 
And I'm like, you know what? Let me be that one kid that, you know, doesn't make your day miserable. Well, so the problem, right? I, I did not really have any problem with teachers in school. All of my problems were with students. Mm-hmm. Um, so I never was mean to any anyone, but it also helps that, like, a lot of my family, uh, they're teachers. So, like, I feel like whenever you have the perspective that, like, teachers have a life outside of school, you see them more as, like, just people. Mm-hmm. So you're not a dick to them because you have, like, Te- you know, human human courte- courteousness and kindness, you know, like, you shouldn't Te- be mean to a person just teachers, because whatever. Teachers don't have a life outside of school. They do. <laughs> no. They, they just do. They, no. they sleep in the bathroom. No. <laughs> no, 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 they don't sleep in the bathroom. They Once you leave, then they just turn off at the desk. They turn off mm. at the yeah, desk. they're like robots. Okay. Fuck that. Indeed. Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, okay, indeed. all right. Well, fine. I think I... I don't know. I'm not a very mean person, I'd like to think. So... I was good. I just kept getting blamed for other people's shit. Yeah. I yeah. knew that if I was good, then I got to do the things that I wanted to do, which was not be around, like, half the class. Mm-hmm. The other half of the class is cool, and we were friends. They locked them in the teacher's lounges at night. <laughs> uh, there are legends of some of the teachers roaming around the halls at night. Oh. Mm. If you get caught, we put in permanent detention. <laughs> I wasn't. I was an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, known people like that too. So. <laughs> See, I also knew that if I did anything terrible, then my parents would find out. But that's the thing, right? You know you're gonna go home and your mom's gonna fucking kick your ass. <laughs> you just don't do things that are bad. No, like, see, it wasn't even a worry about. Oh, hey, my mom will kick my ass at home. She will come to the school ah, and kick my okay, ass that's there. Your mom. Okay, I see. I see. There uh, was yes. one time in high school that my mom decided to come to the school. High school. Ah, uh, yes. High school. Yes. What? What did you do? Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was the time that uh, I didn't do the science fair project that was worth like 70% oh. of our grade yeah. on purpose to try to get out of the IB program. Oh. Uh, because I didn't want to go to that school, which was an hour away, instead of the school that was like literally 10 minutes walking distance yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just hated it there. Like, all the kids, you know, were all jerks. Um, right. The teachers didn't particularly care about me, except for, like, two of them. They were actually cool. Yeah. Um, so I said, oh, well, I have to keep a certain score in every single one of my uh, classes or I get kicked out. That's the way that I was told for that program. So, all right, I will go ahead and not do this project. I'll do everything else because I'm interested in biology. But I just won't do that. I'll take that one hit for that one nine-week period, and then I'm out. Perfect right. plan. Perfect um, plan. Until. And <laughs> at home, I did the entire project because I was still interested in what topic I chose. I don't remember what it was now, but... Oh my god, you uh, still did the project? I still did the project uh, because I had to keep up the front at home like, oh, hey, I'm totally doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. But I was also interested anyway, so I had fun with it. I just didn't turn in any of the research or anything like that. <laughs> I feel like at that point, <laughs> I should just let you go. I don't know. Like, like yeah. Well, uh, um, teacher, he, Mr. Valenza, mm-hmm. great guy. Um, it, Mr. Valenza, if you're watching this. You are absolutely awesome. If you're Mr. watching Blizz this, watching he this. likes looking at big titty anime girls. I don't girls. know what to fucking... Like, <laughs> big, big, sweaty titty anime girls. He likes looking at pictures of them. I mean, we all do. Which, which if you're here, that means you do too, actually. What the fuck, Mr. Valenza? Whoa, you have, whoa, you whoa, have whoa, a whoa. wife. Mr. Valenza, you're allowed to look at whatever you want, my dude. You're, you're awesome. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, almost anything that you want. Let me, let me, you know, put a little asterisk there. Almost. But anyway, um, so he, the day came when we were supposed to turn in the last bit of the projects, and everyone yeah. else is turning in their stuff. And he looks at me, I look at him, I give him a quick wave, and continue going to my desk. This is the same one who had Sam the Snake that I used to take care of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I like Sam. Yeah, yeah Sam was awesome. How's Sam? Probably no longer in existence. Yeah, probably. Not. What? I'm probably not alive now. What do you mean? Snakes live pretty long. <laughs> ah, they do oh, live pretty Becca, long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, no, no, no. What kind of snake was Sam? <laughs> what kind of fucking snake was Sam? Um. <laughs> He was one of the big yellow ones. I forget the exact name. Right yeah, now. yeah. I know uh, it's exactly really that. easy to a find. A boa? Them. Yeah, it's a specific type. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, no ah. bunk! We've been bonked. No bunk! No bunk! No. Uh, no. But yeah, uh. That. That one right here. Right yeah, here. I'm trying to find what that's called. Uh, but anyway. Um, so I didn't turn it in. Um, so he decided to contact my parents, and my mom find, found out, and I was in the middle of American government, and all of a sudden, uh, my teacher gets a call, oh, God. and then she says, oh, hey, uh, sounds like your mom's here to pick you up, and I'm like, pick me up? Why? Why? No, no, yes. no, 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 We've been bonked. Um, so, teacher says, oh, hey, sounds like your mom's here to pick you up early for something. Oh, great. And I'm like, great. what? That's what? always the worst. Why would I need to be picked up? Oh, maybe something happened. When I don't know. so much fucking trouble that you don't, and you don't fucking know, really. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Oh, God. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, should I start getting my stuff ready, you know, meet her at the office? And then all of a sudden we get a knock at the door, and then we... The whole class I'm looks. sorry she came to your fucking classroom? Yes. Are you serious? Yup. She came- Oh no! Oh shit, I can just fucking answered, imagine. You know, I'm she... sorry, I need to know- uh, I'm here to talk to my son. Oh, okay, we'll just call him up the office. No, tell me what room he's in. I want to go talk to him. Yep. How do they even fucking let her do that? Yup. No! So, Jesus Christ! Teacher answers the door. They have a conversation outside the door. All of a sudden, you know, teacher comes back in. Let's my mom in. Let's her come all the way over to my desk and everything. You know. I'm sorry. She's like, oh hey, I have, you know, got a call from one of your teachers and everything. Your biology teacher having this conversation with me in, in front of the rest of the class, and then Isn't finally so decides, you know, oh hey, we're gonna have the rest of the conversation outside of the classroom. Oh my God. So but, disruptive to your class, though. Yo! Yo, holy shit, he dead! Basically, that's how I what else was he? Um, how old was he? How old was... Uh, he was a few years old back then. They lived for 35 years. Once I got into trouble punching and bullying in the face, my parents are proud. Might still be. Yeah. That yeah. was the reaction okay. I okay. got to. Me. Still hope. Um, Sam, I think Sam I got a referral Sam like Sam every huh. year in elementary school. Yep. Sam the Snake. Okay, guys, 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 important news. Sam the Snake was is probably still alive. Maybe. Assuming all other things are good. Yeah. yeah. Just by age, he should. He may still be alive. Okay, okay. <sighs> That's what matters. <sighs> yes. Alright, now um, repeat the whole story for Mecca, please. Oh no, I was listening. <laughs> Did she whoop your ass though? Oh, absolutely. Oh my god. Like, are we talking like... Like... like over the knee, like... Yeah. Oh, do you not want to relive that? It, part of it was oh, at I'm the sorry. school. Oh, and then no. the rest of it was once oh, we got home. Oh no, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Jesus. while we're on the subject of, of your punishments, um, is now a good time to bring up the purge? The great purge? <sighs> yeah, no! might as well. well. Yeah, you know what? Since we're <laughs> all right, story time. So, <laughs> hey, hey guys, welcome to our podcast. Yes, oh, this has become God. a podcast. No, uh, it's so sad. I just like to say before Bishop starts telling this story, I, I, I had this. This is such a bad event that I had. I have, I've had to like dub it as a moment in history. Are you history. looking at this? <laughs> this is. <laughs> Are you wanting to watch this gameplay? Is, no. <laughs> this is and will always be referred to as the Great Purge. And it's it's one of those uh, monikers that is so indicative to the to the event that all I have to do is say the Great Purge and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. So so take it take it away, Bishop. Take it away. All right. So quick little bit of backstory. Uh, I've been playing video games since I was like 
two and a half, three, because my mom had a Nintendo and an Atari. You know, so literally as soon as I had a concept of how the controls worked, I've been, you know, attached to video games. Um, so, skipping over to high school, again, with my addiction to video, all things video games, um, that was really the only way that you could punish me, because saying, oh, hey, you can't hang out with your friends, I'm like, okay, that's fine, I'll hang out in my room with my stuff and my games. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, like indoors. Yeah, song, indoors. Easy. Boom. Like, <laughs> um, indoors. So, uh, my junior year, well, the summer between my junior and my senior year of high school, um, I decided to uh, take a couple of classes to go ahead and graduate a little bit early uh, in my senior year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's, I was taking English 4. Yeah. And it was an online portion, so I could go ahead if I yeah. wanted to. Yeah. So I did. Yep. Because it was one of my favorite subjects. Yep. Uh, and I did about like four or five weeks of work ahead. Mm -hmm. Because I had nothing else really better to do. Right. Yeah. Well, at some point, a game came out. And I was like, oh, well, since I'm so far ahead, I can take some time to enjoy my summer, you know, and play the game. You know, everything's fine. <laughs> so I did, you know, spent a couple of weeks doing that. And yeah. my mom would come in from work and she would say oh hey did you do you know your school work and stuff like that and i would say yes i was being completely truthful there because it was already done and submitted so uh eventually about the third week in of this uh my mom gets a phone call from my online teacher mm -hmm, mm -hmm. saying oh hey i i may have to drop your son from the class because he hasn't submitted anything in like the last three weeks my mom stopped paying attention to the conversation at that point. And then just said, oh, hey, he's been lying to me this entire time about getting stuff done. So she said that she'd call her back and then hung up before the teacher why, could explain anything else. Why would she lead with that? I don't know. Um, my mom goes in, sees I'm playing video games, proceeds to start yelling at me, screaming, throwing stuff. And then said, you know what? This is the last straw. Not I am the taking mom. the thing. Not the slipper. <laughs> she took every single one of my games. The, yeah, I'll say, I'll say, real, not to interrupt me. Before you do, I would have taken the slipper. <laughs> <laughs> the slipper. I the slipper, taking, guaranteed, <laughs> is infinitely a better fate. A better fate than yes. what happened. What actually happened. Hell, Getting her, his mom coming out and shooting him in the foot <laughs> is probably a better outcome oh, than what no. she actually did. I would have taken that easily. That's your build of guy. Yeah, tell, um, tell, 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 tell them what, tell them what happened. T -t 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 tell so, them what happened. She took that every single that one. That wasn't, I'm sorry. No, no, it's <laughs> right, that's fine. She took yeah. all of my game systems that I had, which, uh, again, I inherited the Atari and the Nintendo but every game system, pretty much from that period of time onward, I had been this was collecting. PS2 era is when this happened. Uh, th yes, this was a PS2 era when. This so, happened. so your PlayStation. I know your PlayStation One. It was included in this. Yep, PlayStation One, my Xbox, my uh, Nintendo 64, my Super Nintendo, my regular Nintendo, the Atari. Uh, the Sega Dreamcast because I had that at some point. Um, my all of my Game Boy versions up to that point because I had every single Game Boy from the original fat Game Boy onward. Mm -hmm. All of those uh, and all the games that I had collected over time. Uh, some of those were like things that you had to kind of import as well. Uh huh. Um, and some games you can't get anymore. Um, they just don't make it. Mm -hmm. Took every single one of those, threw it into a trash bag, and threw them all out. Uh, I begged her to give me any other punishment than that. And she's like, nope, I'm throwing them out. I'm making sure that they go out into the, you know, actual trash and everything literally tomorrow. See, you know what I don't get about that? Mm. She bought those things. She bought those things and knew how much they were worth. So, a good portion of it she had purchased and everything. Some of it was my own that I had literally gotten a part-time job and... You know, took pride in, like, buying I some of those things. I can't... Like, I understood her being mad. 
I understand. She didn't even like give you a chance to explain. She wouldn't hear it. I, I just. I know you love your mother. I absolutely love my mother. Let, let, I know you love your mother. <laughs> that. If I were in your shoes, I would only by by your age not be talking to her. But I make sure to send her a Christmas card every year that just said "fuck you." <laughs> Which on is it. especially funny given yeah <laughs> other information so, about her. <laughs> in all of my life, there have been times where sad things have happened, and you know, destruction of property is mm-hmm. unacceptable, I, right? Like confiscation for a short period of time. Or just fucking yeah. talking just to your kid. Just destroying it. Just talk yeah. to your kid, maybe? Try? I know sometimes that doesn't always work, right? Like, you need to take greater action. But, like, that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that situation oh, literally broke goodness. me for, like, weeks on end. It's so sad. Um, so... That's, like, all you cared about. That'd be like taking... Yeah. That'd be like taking Bitter One's dog and just, like... We're not gonna say the other thing. Giving it away. Like, yeah, it's right. just... Like... <laughs> It's terrible. Yes. It's all uh, again, you cared about. It was a thing that I had cared about since I was a wee little lad. You know. The reason. And you just take years of that and just say, nope, it is all gone now. That's that's like thousands of dollars of shit, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was it's thousands that, back it's then. That. It's, mm-hmm. it's all your, your memories. Mm-hmm. Everything. I'm, I don't know. That sucks. Like, a lot of my sucks. good memories were also kind of tied yeah. to like... Yeah. Having that. And even just, you can, like, you can, like, look at a, a game, you can look at a box, and you're like, man, I remember when I first played Metal Gear Solid 2. That's an example, because I'm looking at yeah. that right now. Or, like, <laughs> but, like, are two copies of Sonic Heroes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, yeah, I remember playing th- that Lord of the Rings game with my dad during the summer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it just like sucks. Some, some of the bad Fuck. situations, like, for example, when my Nana passed away, mm-hmm. that was one of the things that helped me kind of get through that. It's definitely, so. I feel like video games mean can mean so much whenever you use them as, you know, a way to work through things or maybe to, like, cope or it's it's a brief break from whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I'm sorry to pull this back to this, but that's why we like our streams to be so chill and we don't try to talk about, you know, like, current events or anything like that because, to be honest, it doesn't... You guys need a break from that shit. Right, you so, play? yeah, we want to just play games and have fun. So, my dad once burned my Yu-Gi-Oh cards because my my, I assume X, my brother were fighting? Because me, because me and my brother were fighting is what he's trying to say. Oh, because me and my brother were fi- fighting about, like, like, punching each other in the face? We're just, like, arguing. I mean, I used to have fights <laughs> with my... Are you and your brother? I had fights with my sister about, about Yu-Gi-Oh cards for that brief period where... Oh, yeah, where... didn't she throw them all up into the ceiling Yeah, pan? yeah, and then I just... Fun. Just quit. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Uh, that... But, yeah, so that happens... And there's a little bit more to this. So, my dad, he was like, oh, well, maybe this is a little harsh, you know. But when my mom is that angry, there's not really much of a way to deal with that at that moment. You just let it happen, and then, you know, after that moment, you Jesus. come back and figure it out. Am I allowed to make Are a you looking at this? My mother may not do that. There you go, Okay. Ugh. Ugh. A pair of concrete slippers can says to the co- contrary to that. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Bishop's but, mother, if we ever meet you, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean it. it was a joke. She's never gonna watch her like, things. Like under normal circumstances, she's really nice and patient, so on and so forth. Uh-huh. It's just when it comes to anything school related, that is one thing that you can get her to that point very easily. Um. So, it's kind of one of those, I take that into consideration with mm-hmm. that. Um, but yeah, my dad was like, alright, you know what, maybe this is a little rough. So, he decided to go to work, you know, that morning. <laughs> God, the snowballs scare me. Um, he ah. snuck out, you know, to the trash cans and everything that were outside, you know, waiting to be taken out. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, when my brother and I are asleep, he goes into the trash can, opens the bag, he takes stuff out one at a time. Uh-huh. You're just kind of trying to sneak it in, you know? So now that my brother and I would know, his thought process was that, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, I, I can know. salvage this. And then when, you know, Devin has, you know, proven that he's responsible enough for these, we can give him back and everything will be okay. I remember this now. Um, well, about... A third of the way through that, my mom comes back 
because she forgot something, you know, at the house. And she sees him with some of the games in his arms. And then she puts two and two together. She's like, no. Proceeds to take them away. Goes back, hunts down the ones that he brought in. Brought those out. At any point, was it explained to her that you didn't actually not do the classes? We'll, we'll, we'll get there in a second. Oh my god. She goes out. Bishop, every time I hear this story, I, it makes <laughs> it makes me angry in a core of myself. Because we all connect yes. to like this. Because it didn't have to happen. <laughs> it didn't have to happen. All, all, right. all it took was just some rational thought. <sighs> It's, it's like those TV dramas where you're like, for fuck's sake, if someone would just, just tell him that it's not his baby. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, just, just so, her, you know, whatever. But yeah, yeah. she grabs the rest and she stands there and <laughs> waits until the garbage person comes around to make sure that it gets taken and thrown out. And then she goes off to work. Oh my God. Um, well, <laughs> eventually the next day, Walk. you know, she gets another call from the teacher. She's like, oh, hey, well, I see that Devin has started turning in stuff. We didn't get to finish the conversation, you know. Just wanted to let you know that, you know, the reason why I was doing the courtesy call, normally I would have dropped the student immediately, but in his case, he already was well ahead. Uh, so I would feel really bad to cut him and everything. I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. And, you know, and then that's when my mom realized, like, oh, well, it wasn't that Devin was lying. He just didn't happen to read in the, you know, uh, syllabus that oh hey regardless of how far you are ahead you're supposed to turn in at least one assignment a week you know that is such it's bullshit. such a bullshit as, requirement as hmm. two people who took almost their entire high school online actually no we did take our entire high school online yep. and I did most of my college classes online mm -hmm. that line of thinking is bullshit See, are you fucking kidding me the reason why it's supposed to be there for most of the students was that you could work at a slower pace. Yeah. As long as you at least turn in one assignment, because normally I, you'd have three I know or four. why. It happened yeah. to me in my fucking... Because they put me in Boom Boom Math class my senior year, which was bullshit, because I was already taking, like, calculus. Yeah, you were like... Anyway, that's you're... a different story. But the same thing happened to me, where I was like, I'm going to prove these fuckers. I don't need to be in this class. So I did as many assignments as I could, mm -hmm. and I remember them telling me, like, oh, you haven't turned anything in. I'm like, teach. I'm all the way in chapter 12. What are you talking about? Right. Like, it's just like, what, what the fuck... Anyway, sorry. Did you rectify <laughs> that? Yeah, point? of course. I took the I took the exam really early because they saw how well I was doing, and I passed it. And I didn't have to take. That, did, I had that at, semester at any free. Point, <laughs> at any point, did they just like say, "Oh, wait, you really aren't supposed to be in this"? No, they couldn't because I guess technically I did pass the fucking test, but they still put me in algebra two or whatever in geometry, mm -hmm. even though I didn't pass algebra one technically. <laughs> the final. EOC. The American education so system is a joke. There's weird. the most topical thing you're so going to get. Weird. Anyway, sorry, Devin. I didn't uh, mean to cut you off. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my mom was kind of like a... She decided to be really nice to me, you know, after that. But for the rest of the summer, I was pretty much... I'm done with you. Uh, I'm a zombie. Like, she would talk to me and I'm just like, yeah. Sure, you whatever. stole my happiness. Like, the one thing that <laughs> brings me happiness and joy. See, see, you are a much more patient and forgiving man than I am, because I would be like that, but, like, until I'm, like, 80. <laughs> like, if, if, if my mom did that to me, I would just, as soon as I turned 18, Listen, I would look at her. I don't have the, the, the mental strength right now. I'm, just, I'm in distress listening to We're just name-dropping at this point. <laughs> oh, you know, it's... She's my manager. <laughs> but, uh... <gasps> no, I, um... Listen, uh, fuck. I, did I do it? Did I say his name? No, it's me. Oh, <laughs> sorry, did. sweetie. No, it's okay. Um, I was it's the one that did Mario. it today. But yeah, but yeah, uh... If it were me, the moment I turned 18... I would, I would, I would just... Act, you know, as soon as I moved out, I would just... The last thing I would say is just... Hey, remember uh, when you threw my entire collection of video games, it's probably worth multiple thousands now. Uh, yeah. As soon as, like, when, you, when you're when you old, I'm not gonna put you in a nursing home. I'm just gonna find a random street and just leave you there. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I feel like you have that reaction because you were not raised in that household. <laughs> Isn't the way fucking hell I'm gonna he's, say that He's funny. doing it himself for the last five minutes, I yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was initially going to say, I was initially going to say, who's that? But that kind of draws more attention to it. Yeah, yes, so, it does. 
forget you heard anything. Yeah. Forget the story. It's yeah. Important. Yeah. So that's the Great Purge. Yeah. So. I would. Oh, I would. You know that. You know that wood chipper scene from fucking Fargo. I would be really, really, really uh, pressed not to reenact that with my parental unit if that's what happened. But I love my mom though. Yes. Uh, I just every once in a while remind her. Hey, remember that one time? Yeah. Oh my god. The wound reopens. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's nasty. Uh. Yeah. I don't think what? I ever. <laughs> what did I say? The wood chipper. I oh, assume. the wood chipper. <laughs> I assume that's what that one's for. Yes. Finally, to the athletics building. Oh, God. Wait, we're playing a game? Yeah, no. The we're... fuck? Ugh. What's this game doing in my podcast? Yeah, this is the childhood trauma stream. <laughs> yes. Tra Ooh, childhood trauma. Uh, Which is fitting because they're all in high school here. <laughs> <laughs> the primary suspect. Uh, which was the rain? It's me. I am certain. It's you! Their intentions were not pure. Okay, chill the fuck out. Um, okay. Alright, Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with Doomsday Paladin. Yes. yes. True. I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Okay, oh, don't have Jesus to be so fucking Christ. uppity about oh, my it. Fucking God. You're one of those kids. Ugh. I had a GameCube stolen by a meth addict. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. I'm you so know, sorry. That'll happen. Um, I remember when we had uh, when Halo Reach came out, it was like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to fucking play the multiplayer for that. Mm -hmm. And one of my my uh, my brother's roommates. No, not his roommates. It's one of his friend's roommates. Uh. He had, uh, while the game was still spinning in the Xbox in the 360, mm -hmm. had turned the Xbox right side up. Oh my god. And all we heard god. was just. Oh my god. Oh. And then no. he took it out. No. Looked at it, saw the scratches, the new no. scratches on it, and on his <laughs> nylon jacket, no. just took it and quickly just gave it a rub. No. Stop See, talking! He <laughs> did. He destroyed a completely a brand new copy of Halo Reach. <gasps> See, that is the you know background story for a murder right there. Listen, that guy, that guy got what he deserved, and that he he gets, he's doomed to eternity to an eternity of being him. So, <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. These. Yeah. These taste like churros. Um, huh. hand, hand them over. Uh, oh my god, I'm they taste so much like churros. Put churros. this in your body. Can you rephrase that, please? <laughs> 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 Welcome! Oh, That's what we have with those weird guys in our stream now, because we don't know what the fuck's going See happen. what happens next on OnlyFans. Oh my, <laughs> my god, god, no! no. <laughs> Also, when we stream on OnlyFans, you guys won't have to pay for that shit. That's fucking lame. Uppies. Uppies. <laughs> Uppies. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to... Yeah. How about for a second? Mm. Bishop um. has to take a pee. Mm. Can I get another one of those uh, shit necklaces? Yeah, 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 you know. Did you try one? Yeah. Well, they taste like churros? I do. I have strawberry shortcake ones, too. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. They were at Bogo. Oh. And they're new flavors. I see. Sorry, we're trying the, the chocolate dip pretzels or whatever they're Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you lemon. lemon. Thank you, Lemon. Mmm, look at me. I'm fishy. I gotta make a pee pee. <laughs> We just end the stream right here. Yeah. Just... <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just staring at Mecca as he's chewing. Oh god. 
I don't know if I talked about this or not, but uh, mm. anybody catch uh, AI Sponge? Yeah, we actually caught AI Sponge not on Twitch, on YouTube. Yeah. Yep, for the short time they were there. Thank you. Thank you. And the one that I remember was like it was the AI Sponge like situ like uh, scenario that they would just put in the machine, but like <laughs> they're oh. they were always like counter to uh, expectations. Like, there's one where it just starts with, uh, what's wrong, Patrick? I have a shitting and coming disorder. And then all the characters are, like, really super supportive of him. Like, gee, I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. <laughs> sorry, sorry to hear that. If you need anything, just let me know. I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doomsday. We don't have a Discord that's public. Um, yeah. I think we'll do it eventually, but... Eventually... We just the... don't have... I'm gonna be honest. If we invited you to our Discord, there's no one fucking on it. So it'd be just, like... Well, the other thing is just, if we did a community Discord, we'd have to moderate it. There are so many horror stories of just people not being able to moderate their shit well enough and just some crazy shit happens in right. the Discord. I don't, yeah. And I'm not going to be the person I know, at the right, helm. I know, that had the fucking Discord he, with the fucking gross shit on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Well, sometimes people go into Discords and they'll go into super inactive Discords. Mm -hmm. And then they'll share, like, bad, bad shit. stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like that, that shit. So, uh, if I ever if I ever do a Discord, I, I would like to have twice the regular viewership that we have now, and that's maybe not like, we just want people to be active, right? It'd be yeah. Kind of sad. And, and well, and just and just to to be able to have some pool that maybe I could like, I don't know, consistently pay someone to moderate, so just that whenever some crazy shit happens and everything, that they can just be on top of that. That would that would be the ideal. Because I last thing I want is for anyone to get like abused or hurt, and it's just like, oh, it's happening in your Discord because you didn't pay fucking attention. It's like, well, I work, I'm busy all day. Oh no, no, we are not. I don't think we make uh, consistent enough money. Like, I can't remember the last time we actually got a payout from Twitch. It's been a while. All right, so hear me out. I will allow you to hire me on as a moderator for this at the pay that I had before. <laughs> so, two bags of potato chips. Two and a half. One being barbecue. Okay, perfect. Per month. Got it. Cool. <laughs> Wait a minute, you said barbecue? Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know mm. about that. We gotta you already just bumped on it. We gotta cut you, buddy. I'm sorry barbecue unless you're willing to work for sour cream and onion sorry mm. well unfortunately you you already fist bumped that into the contract so uh if you don't then i'm gonna have to see you imagine the small claims court case oh my god one. yes <laughs> but you but you at that point it wouldn't even be about the money or the chips it would be about the principle of the matter um, mm -hmm. Also, I accept payments in Nutty Buddies. Well, luckily, you got a lot of Nutty Buddies here. <laughs> what are you fucking? What are you all talking about? I I'm gonna pay Bishop and Potato Chips to moderate our Discord. <laughs> oh. Yes. God damn. He agreed to to two and a half bags. One of them is a uh, bar a barbecue. Which I know it might seem like it's outside of our budget, but really, when you think about it, it'll pay for itself in no time. Well, he can't. Yeah. He doesn't have time to moderate our Discord server. Ugh. Doomsday Paladin. All right, listen. Maybe we'll really consider because I've had a few people ask now about a Discord. Listen, if we did a Discord, so just, we'd have to have some easy way to just. Wait, I'm a. <laughs> You get experience, you experience, uh, exposure, exposure <laughs> and the love, the the the, the, uh, the the positive energy of friendship. Uh, you get good vibes. Plus, good vibes. We're gonna see you. Next yeah. Week. yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's not really because you're a mod, but you know. To be fair, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll say this now because because I haven't had a chance to like actually speak to you verbally about this lemon. I have considered. Paying you like two hundred bucks to just go through all of our vods and just uh, just like clip things, but I thought about that and how much video that we have over it's the past just... like year. That's way too little 
to do that. It's it would be so much work and effort. We'd almost have to do it like going forward. Yeah. With the exception of like things we remember being worth clipping and yeah. like putting on YouTube. I mean, um, we do funny shit sometimes. So, Friendship yeah. Brigade Assemble! Yes. Yes. You can time me out if you want on a torrent. <laughs> I mean, I hope you wouldn't just go in there and start doing <laughs> bad shit. But, you know, hello, Viridian. It's been a while. Welcome. I'm Take Barbecue. <laughs> you heard him here first, guys. He agreed to the contract. No, he didn't agree to anything. He agreed to the contract. Oh, my God. All, all of our right, videos. Right, all right, all right, 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 I couldn't get barbecue chips, but he can? Well, he's gonna clip all the streams for us. <laughs> it's based on experience. It's based on experience. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're. <laughs> I have a, I have a really bad joke. I don't I don't know how hard it's gonna hurt you if I make it. What? Well, can't be as you're, hard as it gets. Sorry, but you're eating. you're overqualified for barbecue. Ooh. Ah! I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Ooh. Oh. If I actually, if I actually offended you, like, no, you're, you're okay. Not. Okay, let's bump on just to make sure, because I'm insecure. Um, wait, 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 no, no, no. again. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, been on this screen for a while. Yeah, let's yes. Just, uh, just, she asked if we needed something, and we we've got just been standing well, next to her. Well, we we gotta we gotta uh, change the background for our podcast every once in a while. Yeah, you did yeah. clip the party file scene. We just gotta like make it into like a short or something. I don't know. We should create watermelon potato. You shut the fuck up, dude. Stay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not the veto that one. There are well. some. There are some things that are best left unspoken. <laughs> oh, Viridian's here! Yeah. You just Hi, noticed. Viridian. You just noticed what Viridian is here. <laughs> we'll agree to fucking disagree. <laughs> it's like, well, you're allowed to be wrong. I feel like <laughs> I don't like I don't like watermelon flavored stuff except for like like sour watermelon. See, I like actual watermelon. I hate the artificial flavor watermelon. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, like yeah, actual, yeah. like real watermelon. But I also don't like like watermelon drinks because it's it literally yeah. is just a watered down version of it. Yeah. What about mustard on watermelon? Then? Mustard on watermelon? You know what? I will try oh. that. I've never had the pork. maybe honey Dijon. I will I don't try like, that. I don't like normal mustard. That's true. Arizona tea See, flavored potato chips. <laughs> Exactly, Michael. You're allowed to be wrong. No! I'm allowed to be Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I, I have to give you the thumbs up for using my weapon. Frozen. Okay, well, frozen watermelon okay. is just a, is actually great, though. Yes. that I will say. Uh, it's based. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Yeah, that is good. Not even that would be. Nice. I I remember my grandmother getting after my grandpa for putting uh, salt on his watermelon, mm -hmm. and I was like, Grandma, that's just the French in you. That's just, right. That's just, I know. <laughs> Cheetos with chopsticks. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that, that's one of my roommates actually. I I would eat Cheetos with chopsticks. I uh, because then your hands don't get dirty when gaming. Like he eats chips and Cheetos and other yeah. things like that. Yeah, that know, makes total sense to me. Speak for that exact reason. Yeah. Well, oh, is it just not to get dust on your? Yeah, yeah. it's just to not to get oh, fucking okay. Cheeto dust all over your expensive ass okay. PS Five controller. <laughs> Sometimes I give him shit for just because we're. Close friends. I, the reverse. I don't care about the okay. fruit or the decade, flavor. Alternatively, you could just put on like a bunch of those little, like, you know, those little For thingy clean hands, yes, right. condoms. Clean you know thingies, about? please, thank you. Oh, the, um, I know what you're for, like, for like when you have a cut on your finger or something. Oh. Then well, look at the little rubber. Oh, it's like, yeah. it's like made of glove material, but it just goes on the tip of your finger. Do you, do you not know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's, yeah, whenever you have a cut, and it's, you could still wash your hands, but not get the bandage wet. They're I've tiny. heard those I've just never actually seen them. Oh, okay. Person, oh, so. yeah. I see. That, yeah. That's why I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just tilt the bag. That's fair. You just fucking dump truck them? Just... Yeah! <laughs> you just free basin some fucking... Uh, my Xbox <laughs> Mecca, was Cheetos 80 bucks, lets like you how I'm gonna get it dirty. And practice your chops to... Well... And practice your chops to... Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You know, Viridian, you have opened my mind. I will say, though... I am kind of boycotting Cheetos, and it's not because I don't like them, it's because they discontinued literally my favorite snack. You thought we haven't bought Cheetos in a long time? Yes. I didn't know! Oh! 
the jalapeno, <laughs> the jalapeno puffs. I loved those things so much. It's the, uh... <laughs> Dude, Dave, please. It's like the, wipe stuff on your pants. <laughs> so, the wipe stuff on your pants, that reminds me of another really quick story. Uh -huh. Really super quick. Uh, when I was little, like, between one and two, uh, told this by my mom and my nana, uh, I was really super spoiled and everything, where, like, any kind of hand foods and stuff like that, you know, most babies were like, oh, they put their hands all over food and stuff like that and get it all over the place. Mm -hmm. Me, I would touch something, take one bite, put it down, and then ask, you know, put my hands up so then my nana would wipe my hands. Yeah. Yep. Because I didn't want to get a mess on anything. And then literally do that over and over, like, take one bite, <laughs> all right. You I were just ready for one. utensils, I think is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Right. My mom decided good? to cut that off like very soon after I started getting <laughs> into that. But it's like, oh hey, chicken nugget. All right, I'm gonna, you know, take a bite of chicken nugget. Okay, my fingers got to be clean. Now. What flavors were the midnight black and white on on do? Because we we're super into the weird Mountain Dew flavors. Yeah, uh, we buy most of them when we can. Oh, that white out and come back. They lost so much money. What was it? White out with citrus. Okay. Yep, I remember that. Oh, uh, wasn't Midnight Black more of like a grape or something like that? I think, uh, wait, are you talking about Pitch Black? I think they still have that. Hmm? Mountain Dew uh, Pitch Black, it's like the grape one, right? I, I have found that different states mm. carry drinks for longer, so maybe we do still have it. Pitch Black... I, I swear, not like like a month ago, we were in a Circle K, and I and I saw Pitch Black as a as an option flavor for their uh, their soda fountain. Oh, that wasn't a Circle K. That was like one of the bigger gas station chains, and they had a big dispenser with a bunch of them. Are you sure Pitch Black is gone? Cause I cause I love Pitch Black and oh, no. You're shitting me. That's actually so sad. This was a great flavor. Why is it always the shit I like? I know. I know. Jalapeno puffs? Gone. Uh, Look at Pitch Black? Pitch gone. Pitch Black was also a citrus. Dark citrus punch. Apparently. Huh. <laughs> Pitch Black. <laughs> also adds. Ah, shit. Okay. This Just stream was brought to you by Pants. <laughs> Buy flips the fucking pretzel things. Can we be sponsored by RC Cola, please? Yeah, RC Cola would be cool. Actually, we can see how long the ads are on this this page here. Where is it? Oh, and back. Yes, yes. RC Cola is delicious. Yes. yes. Alive and well. Well, that's why with our with our uh, with our with our Mecha Mage YouTube channel when we still uploaded yeah. on it, we would always do size comparisons with the uh, the RC Cola can. Yes. Mm. Yeah. With the hopes <laughs> that maybe someone would notice us and say, "Hey, let's sponsor them." Yeah. There's there's actually three new Mountain Dew flavors. There's the passion fruit. There's the guava, and then there's like a like a popsicle one, and we have all of them. And they are wonderful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Viridian, uh, Armor Core, we were going to play, um... Oh, shit. Skies, uh, Fires of Rubicon as soon as, um... As soon as it comes out. Is it out already? Uh, no. Not until August, I believe. Okay. So we are playing that, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, because uh, that's the one thing. Okay, because uh, if it's... Is it multiplayer? Uh, is it? Dutch Bros. Yo! This looks fucking delicious. What the hell is this? This looks really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they have this on the East Coast yet. Hmm. Or if they do, it's not near us. I'll put it that way. Well, that would be that. Well, Viridian, that would be really cool. And I'll say, I'll say this: if 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 Fires of Rubicon uh, is gonna be multiplayer and everything, we might even try to see. It's only gonna come out on PS Five, right? Uh, PS4, PS5, and Xbox. But not PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, what a shame. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. <sighs> I mean, we do have three controllers, but that's besides the point. And PC? Hold up! 
<gasps> oh, when did they announce it for <gasps> PC? <gasps> uh, I, was, I was looking online like two days ago and I didn't see a listing for PC. I wish you could bonk me. I wish I could bonk me too. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm Ooh. sorry. Uh, one day, Maybe. Doomsday. One day I'll make it so we can bonk everyone. <laughs> if, if, if it's on PC. Yeah, yeah that makes purchase. life a lot easier. Yeah, uh, free purchase. We might, have to get you set oh. up at, we might have to get you set up at home and then her on that computer so we can all just... <clears throat> just fucking... fucking yeah. We are ravens, baby. Yes. Let the, sea, <laughs> let the seas boil. You can't let the skies head. fall. You can't bonk his head, but you can bonk his heart. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the pre-order for like the deluxe edition is seventy bucks, and the standard ed standard edition is sixty. So I have a, uh, August twenty fourth, this one is gonna drop. Um, uh, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Uh, Viridian, I have not played much of Armor Core beyond uh <laughs> beyond Armor Core three. Like I played a little bit of four, a like a mission in a four answer demo. Uh, and I never got to play five. It's really has literally been waiting for like the last like twenty I minutes. I know, like, I know. Uh, do you want something? Do you give me a second? Something? I gotta think. And then she just hears all the people in her head, which is us. Yes. <gasps> Poor girl. She skipped out on our last few training sessions, but I guess she's out sick. Uh huh. She look sick to you? She looked fine to me. They wiped out the ravens. Oh man. That hurts my heart. I thought so too. Four and five are in the same universe, unlike the rest of the series. Yeah. I remember I played the last Raven. I'm pretty sure the last Raven came out for for the PlayStation Two, and I remember that one just didn't play well. So I don't know if there's something wrong with my console or not. Person posted the other join each mission peer to peer. Hmm. Okay, that sounds that sounds really cool though. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah. The box. What's in the box? No. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's one more topic. The top, top uh, left one. Maybe there's more. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. Hmm. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I think it just got moved from over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, after, 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 um, do we have you on Discord, Brain? Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll, we'll add you to our Steam. I got a message one night. <laughs> One yeah. of our streams is still on. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll send, send the Steam, Steam thingy so we can, we'll, we'll, we'll connect so we can, we can, uh, get the, uh, our, uh. Okay, yeah, I can, I can share it with Megan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can get, get her, you can get her stream. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll make this happen. It'll be fun. The question is, are you opposed to playing it regularly on Fridays? <laughs> this is a discussion we kind of have to have with Bishop too. So you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk this at, at, at a point in the future. We got we got time before them. Coordinate this, get, get it all figured out. Really? <sighs> I love me some robots. Hello. 
<laughs> Can you go behind? Yeah, like back behind oh, like here. Back here. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure the locker room is back there. I just don't remember where. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let me talk to the other girl real okay. quick first, and then. Yes. Chicks do dig giant robots. Yes. Can't confirm. Yes. I really want to do a cover of that song. I don't know anything. I mean, it's basically the whole song is like maybe like a verse in the in, a, in the main chorus, and then. A long ass guitar solo, and another verse, verse and chorus, <laughs> and it's the best song ever made. That room is for authorized personnel only. Uh, I'm authorized to do whatever the hell I want. I'm literally a mech. If you think about it, I explain. <laughs> Elaborate, please. I don't understand that. Actually, I don't know much about Viridian lore. That's true. That's true. Could it be related? Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. Oh no. I gotta ask Come to think about it. Not many know about like Mage House lore because we haven't actually done lore streams yet. Yeah, we're getting to that. I don't want to say anything so, about making sure everything's concrete. But. I'm a nano swarm from a different universe, but my true form is big enough to easily suplex Godzilla. Nice. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. All I want to do Yo, is Iba. see you turn into a giant nano swarm. <laughs> All I want to be is the one you get to see a giant nano swarm. <laughs> I want to take a look around the track. That's awesome. Storm unit. There's a wipe out plans, the hyper kings, aka storm, yes. That's cool. You want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya san. Okay. I don't Listen. trust this yeah, lady. Yeah, fuck no. Can you, um. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Alrighty. I beg your pardon. Who? <laughs> oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? <sighs> well, yeah. What did you want to know about Natsuno? Oh. Uh... Well. It might fail if you don't go in the room. I'm waiting to go see if I have. Okay. He's gonna leave. Well... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Interesting. So it's like a, it's like a planetoid-sized hurricane. Here's the box. Huh? Uh, why are you here? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So off she went. I feel like you should really try to lose her before you open up the locker. You know what I mean? Yeah. You heard anything about that fire in the north building? No, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> I dodged the box! Oh my gosh, it actually yes. landed on my head. Usually it doesn't. I don't know. Essentially, <laughs> essentially destroys the atmosphere. Yep, that disrupts the mag magnetosphere. Uh, I am immune to boxes. Well, that, that's fine, because I oh, like I boxes. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, when, I was like tw <laughs> when I was like 12 in a creating, creative writing project, I, I wrote a story about how, like, hurricanes kept getting worse and worse to the point that, like, the wind pressure or whatever would, like, rip people apart and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, my teachers didn't particularly take kind to it. I was like, well, that's not the focus of it. The focus is of this cool sh spaceship thing that they built to, like, survive it. You, 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 you're skipping the rest. You, you're, you're getting stuck at that one point when the rest of it is about the cool thing. 
they after explaining it to the teachers and everything, and they said, "Well, it's still too violent," so they they opted for me to write something else. So I wrote a story about how the Americans during World War II made a mech, made made a mech to like fight off Japanese bombers. Okay. And they they accepted that one and still oh. gave me like a C. Because they said it wasn't very creative. Oof. That's really fucking dumb. Yep. <laughs> they are a theoretical story of the, the apocalypse. That's an actual story of scientists was ter- is terrified of happening. Just to think of the drama that unfolds here. In, in, in the locker room. That drama is not the word I would use. Maybe drama. Maybe it's dramatic. Maybe it's traumatic. It's traumatic, yeah. Uh, do you leave? That's an actual theater. Okay, so... Tiny nameplates. Tiny nameplates. Hmm. For tiny tiny nameplates. Not tiny just nameplates. found it. That's kind of like, um... This must be that notebook. Here, I'll wait until... The... the one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. Yeah. She said she Still saw her. This I feel you. Okay, I had to write courses. Okay, okay. Yeah, my story. Yeah, I feel like it was just situations where it just. Is... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Teachers just didn't get what was what I was trying to write. Maybe it's because. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the teachers just didn't get what I was trying to write. Maybe it's because. I don't know. Particular school you went to was not super keen on creativity. Yeah. Nah. It wasn't about Jeebus. So. It they were to me about my creative writing the way the Eldar were to the Tau. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, I don't know what's worse. The fact that you made that, you know full comparison there. Yeah. The fact that I understood exactly where you were going. Yes, with yes. It. Because the Eldar said that the Tau they stopped like like uh fraternizing with them mm-hmm. because they they're sharing like technology and like and stuff with them. But they said that the Tau weren't creative. And it wasn't when you think about it. That's such a that's just that's such a stupid <laughs> yes lem, yes Warhammer. It's such a stupid <laughs> comparison because the Tau like have out like at the pace that they're they're improving their technology, mm-hmm. they have made more progress in six thousand years mm-hmm. than most of the factions have made in like like ten mm-hmm. or more than that even like 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 millions of years. Mm-hmm. So, for the Eldar to say that the Tau aren't creative, it's, it's not that they they aren't creative. No, they're very creative. They come up with crazy shit really fast. No, they say they're not creative because they just don't use brain magic as much as them. <laughs> That's what that amounted to. Um, My story was about a girl infected with a virus that slowly destroyed her body and replaced it replacing itself, but the infected didn't realize they were slowly being erased, like the boat thesis, until it was complete, at which point she was a walking plague without knowing it. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> kind of except there was no... Oh, uh, so like the mind fungus stuff in ants. Uh, no visible signs of infection. That's really interesting. Um, the part about not knowing it, that reminds me of... Uh, if you haven't seen it, it is worth your time. Mm. But the, the uh, anthology... Uh, film uh, Memories by Katsuhiro Otomo. Um, the second short, it's three three shorts. The second one, Stink Bomb, is about a guy who works at like an experimental drug company, and he goes into work with like a really bad like cold, and he can't find the aspirin, so he takes just a random drug. Turns out it's their experimental bioweapon, which just turns him into a giant disease bomb that kills everybody. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's just him trying to go to a doctor while the while the entire Japanese defense force yeah, is trying, is trying to, to kill him. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> it's a it's a it has some just jaw dropping animation in that. Um, One uh, sorry, <laughs> derail again. I'm sorry. It's fine. One writing assignment I really enjoyed in high school was for my online college class, um, where they had us read like the twelfth book in the Merlin series, Mm -hmm. which I guess is disconnected enough from the main books that it was okay to, like, read the 12th one. But we get to, like, chapter, I don't know, like, 10 or something, and they're like, your writing assignment is to write the next chapter of the book. 
And I thought that was so cool and so much fun. But yeah. I think it's because I really liked the book. But I feel like if you didn't like the book you were reading, mm-hmm. that would be fucking miserable. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess you could turn it into something you'd rather be reading. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see two people, you know, who don't like it. Right. right. In two different ways. Right. One is, like, writing it in a way that would make it enjoyable for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is another way of being really creative. Right. Uh, and then there's one person who's going to say, and then everyone died. The end. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, gosh, uh, that reminds me, remember that time, fuck, Finn got in the mech, oh, Huck Finn got in the mech, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, um, remember, uh, our biology class when our thing was to, like, write a story or something about, about the fucking life in the Everglades? Yes. And we both ended up writing, like, a post-apocalyptic log? Yeah. But we, we, we made it a point, so we had just started dating. We made but, it a point to not communicate with each right. other while we were writing it. And the teacher thought you copied me, which was super funny. <laughs> yeah, but mine had giant robots in it. Mine did not have giant robots in it. It did have, like, a talking robot that would, like, walk through the history of whatever, right? Like, there. I don't remember exactly how it went. Mine was, like, a group of, a group of like, like ground pounder mechs that were just walking through while the guy was looking up, like old archival stuff about the the wildlife there and then suddenly they get ambushed yeah you're, i think maybe mine ended similarly yeah actually and we um. <laughs> but she well, the funny thing is she was a cool teacher no, she, she believed was nice. us yeah no she was she like oh, believed okay us. yeah i think we're, we were good kids though we didn't fucking do shit you know I think so. how prototype virus thought it was alex mercer can we encountered my destiny this program goal was not cognitive of goal it was not cognitive of is to make humanity into itself similar to annihilation but like i said no physical signs superpowers nothing so just subconsciously spreading the virus while the virus thinks it is the victim with their memories that's interesting yeah and yeah prototype i remember uh my dad played that game and i thought it was so interesting um i don't remember that much about it though but I really, it stuck with me. Like, <laughs> I remember certain aspects of it. Okay, he sorry. Yeah. Outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being. What the fuck? In summary, whoa. Aliens really do exist. <laughs> oh. What? what follows is an investigative okay. record of important moments in time and space. We were record one, so we're two. Right. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine. Oh fuck, we got a lot now. Did the oh, it switches the there? end one based off of oh, the references. Okay, so right. let me go back so to record yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Finally, here's in oh. summary. Let's go ahead. Yep. An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? <laughs> you know, if it would happen to anyone, it would be her. I, <laughs> I was told to ma- take a Greek myth and make a story. Is an investigative record of so I took the ship of Theseus and made an existential horror. That's awesome. <laughs> yep, yeah. <laughs> they also had us write, um, like a... Sokka shrine. Uh, you know, in a lot of like mythology, it's a, it's about like natural things in the world or like explanations of things. Um, so like explaining echo, echoes with you know, mm-hmm. echo and narcissus and all that. Um, so they had us do something similar. I don't, I don't remember what, what mine was though, but I remember I had a lot of fun writing because I love Greek mythology. So. <laughs> Some of the classmates then like how we had a vague ending and I was like, that's the point. Yeah, people are dumb. <laughs> Maybe Nachan went there. Hmm. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Okay. Well, you're on the right track, actually. Um, I know she doesn't know that, but... <laughs> Good All work, right. Nadia. That's Schrodinger's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Sentinel Number 17. 
Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. Okay. A robot. Yeah. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this mm. the weapon Shikishima is developing? Wasn't that what that SpongeBob episode was about? The box, remember? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not sharing shit with her! Yeah. Fuck off! I don't like that she just follows us around. Oh, no. It's no, the men no, in no. black. You need to leave. How do you leave? Do you have to go that way to leave? Let's talk to these truck. Oh, North Building Fire? Oh, yeah? Oh, it's the same. Okay. Uh, I think. You know anything about the fire? The oh, you can get her name. Yeah. No. Yeah, the SpongeBob box counts. I told you. <laughs> Mom. Ha! Huh, your mom! Uh, you're not a student. Yeah, why the fuck are you here and how'd you get in? I'm Takamiya, with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me? So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We receive new intel. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to supervise the fucking weirdo that keeps following you around. <laughs> <laughs> about those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Okay. Let's cool. Uh, thanks. Advice. Thanks, guy. You were part of the team. I can see it clearly now. The rain is gone. I know. <laughs> oh, you made that joke. Yeah, I made. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm it's okay. Womp womp. No, you're okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the shrine, I guess. Right? Uh, it won't let me go to the hallway at the moment, so. Oh, I know it'll only, like, I, I assume maybe there's a way to get to the shrine. You know? <laughs> That's because, Lemon. <laughs> but the question is, why not? I don't know what it is, but. I sent them a funny. Oh, I see. Okay, check your phone for a friend's restaurant. Huh? <laughs> check my phone. It's a phone. A friend's request? No. Can I help you? Yes. No. She was one of them. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. I'll plug in her name. Yuri Fuyusaka. The one next to her in the red glasses. Her too. Hmm. Tomi Kis. Right. Oh, that dude! No, the dude with the the pompadour just walked by. I think you have to talk to him. Oh yeah. Cause you already talked to all them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, Viridian. Uh, she sent um, her stream or her Steam. Um, we'll be able to do that. We have to do it on the computer, so we'll do that after stream. Go ahead and accept that. Okay. Yeah. There's no escape. Why are you, Why are you running? running? <laughs> uh, look at me. Then stop following me. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, I, I need you to leave. I feel like she's gonna end up like stabbing us. I don't uh, know. Absolutely. I don't yeah. know if Haruhi Suzumi is just like conditioned me for that stuff. Absolutely, she's gonna oh, stab us. Oh, there's that handkerchief. Yeah, I know. Is that there? Oh the my first god, time it's a hanky. Yeah, I can't interact with it now. Oh no. Alright. Oh no, bro. Alright, you ninja. <laughs> it's a public roof, ain't it? Yeah? It's not your fucking school, Man. is it? You know, you're right. You're, you're allowed to be here. 
Hi. What the? No. Surprise attack! <laughs> <laughs> I said, why are you here? Just checking if my. I expect that door to be ready. sealed and you being in a separate dimension. <laughs> that handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Sorry, bro. Wait, what's his deal? Uh, he was the one who put up the handkerchief. Uh -huh. The one that the girls were talking about, saying, like, oh, hey, maybe someone left it for their lover or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. And he just said, oh, hey, I thought it was a girl's. Yuki, save us. So this is Ogata's handkerchief. <laughs> yes, we, we've established this. Yeah, I like Yuki a lot so far, honestly. She's kind of just like, no fucking nonsense. She's like, I don't want to fucking be here. Oh. Okay. Start with the fire. Fire? I heard there was a fire in the north building. Because no one else seems to know about I it. I also mm -hmm. heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. Oh. You're trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. Mm. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Well, that's a good to know. So what do you know about the girls' bathroom? <laughs> yeah. The girls' bathroom of the north building. Okay. So about not... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah, I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Mm. Go on. Tell me your story. Is that it? Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Damn, Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. Hmm. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going yes. on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. Man, you're tall. Damn! When he doesn't slouch. Yeah, if he would just like <laughs> fucking stand up straight. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he slouches to, you know, make everyone else feel better about him. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah that's he's why. actually like the nicest guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does have the eyebrows I like a lot. The like weird, like. <laughs> He's got them Roger Smith eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She don't know me. Do I have to ask her for help after all? Mm, I mean, it is. she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> have I answered enough of your questions yet? No. What's your favorite color? Get lost. Puce. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> the most un unappealing color. Well, just the name is gross. Yeah. It has a matching name. Have you ever seen Pews? Looking it up. Erica, tell me about the girls' bathroom. Pews is the Pews of colors. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like the craft halfway point between you know, brown and pink. You know what's funny? What? Give me one second and I'll tell you. I'll just have to show you because we can't share this yet. Oh my. Holy shit. Very similar to this color. Oh. No, it's mine fuzzy. No, you can't, I'm sorry. Okay, in that case, never mind then. <laughs> so it's not the same color. I'm so excited. You'll get to That's see that too, I promise. Let's oh. see that, but. <laughs> no, I missed it. What happened? Sorry. We just walked in, we saw this. Oh, it's like There's an explosion. No way all this was from a <laughs> <laughs> Look at her gailing behind you. What the fuck's wrong with her? We are not allowed to be in here. Well, then fucking leave. You don't have to be in here. In so much trouble if they find us. Who is... What, what is wrong with you? Wait, with who? It just feels like we're actual detectives now. Oh. Uh-oh. No. No, you need to leave. I'm not dealing with this fucking... We're gonna be fucking little buddies thing. 
All right, start from the wall here. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. These scratch marks. Hmm. They're carved pretty deep in there. Ogre. Oh, yes. Troll in the girl's buff. <laughs> Not one burn mark in sight. No, it's in the dungeon. Oh, troll in the dungeon. But then it, it crawls into the girl's buff. Ah, I like see. Bear went on a rampage. I think so. Yeah. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce so Snake was that good the perpetrator man, right? was... Snake? Someone yeah. with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. You know what? You're fine. <laughs> it's kind of. Uh... I. In the end, Snape was not all bad, right? Mm -hmm. He did hate Harry's father, but he hated him because he was bullied profile. by Harry's father. So like that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. And he sort of had like a like a huge crush on Harry's mom. Good old Lily. But. He never pursued her, so even after she got married and had a kid, she still he still like was cool with her. Like I, I don't know, there's definitely respectful things about him. He was a double agent, which was confusing for everyone. Uh, <laughs> mm. And the only reason he killed Dumbledore was to protect Mount uh, Draco because he had sworn with like a fucking whatever curse mm. that Griffith. he would. To Griffith his mom. did nothing wrong. So, though to be fair, Dumbledore also asked him to kind of help that's protect true. him as well. So that's true. He was kind of in a catch twenty two situation with that. Yes, I would say Griffith did much wrong. <laughs> I think Tora knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Our suspect is a maintenance lady, built like a bear. Oh, that's her in our D and D party. <laughs> Her name's Lottie. Um. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what do you think? How do you date your your best friend's racist bully? Wait, how was how was James Potter racist? Um. Like, I'm not even asking, like, because I think there's something to the contrary. I just, I literally don't know. Well, uh, he was a half-blood. Oh, Snake? Mm -hmm. Wasn't he? Yes. Maybe oh. that's what he's referring to? Ah. Ah, Is that I why see. he was bullied? Mm, yes. Yep. Okay, okay. There we go. See? It's coming back now, baby. Half of my life dedicated to just that. The other half to Greek mythology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhere in there. I at least save us. I at least save a, a third for, for not not trains. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should save my childhood. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. It's fine. I, 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 I am. I am just kidding. Half blood. I don't know. So Snape's the half blood prince. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you not remember that? Yeah, from the named book, The Half Blood Prince. The Half Blood Prince. Okay. Speaking of trains. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Train time. Okay, so a long time ago, this I believe would have been like either the late 1800s or early 1900s, probably early 1900s. Victorian Railways, that's in Austra uh, Australia. Um, there was a guy. Uh, I remember, I don't remember his name, I remember his nickname, which was Jumper, because he was a brakeman, which is a very dangerous job in those days, because a brakeman who's, is someone who would apply the brakes to the train, like a manual. This is in the, this, this is in the ages of, uh, um, the age of, like, manually apply, applied handbrakes. So that has you jumping from car to car on the roof while the train is still moving. And would you believe it, one time he fell down, and the train ran over him and took off his legs. Hey, wait a minute. And they still called him Jumper. Well, that's... I was about to go and say, that's... That sucks. What? That sucks. Have the name Jumper and have no legs. Yes! 
Um, so anyway, what happened is he still did his job. Like, they still employed him because he could still, he's, without his legs, he could still do, do his job. But, well, it wasn't just that he was, I think, no, no, you know what? After that, they relegated him to, like, a, um, a depot master, right? So, he could perform his duties well enough, but he decided he wanted some help. Uh, and since we're in the other railroad hands, one day, while he was in a, a local market, he found a guy who had a, uh, a, 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 like, a horse-drawn cart that was being driven by a baboon. This person had trained this unusually intelligent baboon to drive his, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his cart to market. Mm -hmm. So Jumper, with his, with his, uh, his, uh, railway salary, basically talked to the guy and made him an offer for his baboon. Mm -hmm. So he bought the bab, he bought the baboon and taught it how to do basic tasks around the depot, which, which it did, uh, really well. But... He found that he had to do, like, a reward system, which started with him giving him, like, snacks, like bananas and stuff and everything. But eventually, that wasn't good enough, but then he discovered the baboon had a penchant for drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. So he paid it in booze. And you think a drunk baboon would not be the, uh, the, not be a reliable source of help. Uh, but no, nah, actually, he was, he was really good. In fact, he was so smart... That he could understand that whenever, so they had a, a shed that would keep that would keep coal for the locomotives, and whenever he heard these distinctive two chimes of the whistle, he would know that's someone want, who's uh, alerting they want the keys to the coal shed. So he would bring the keys out and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, so this this uh, this small depot in Australia was run by a dude with no legs and a drunk baboon, and life was good. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's your train fact. This is a real thing that happened. I only learned that because Snape named dropped the title. Well, one, I think it was in the potion book that Harry has to borrow for potions class that year. And two, I think Snape just literally tells Harry he's the Half-Blood Prince. He does. Because Harry uses the spell Snape created. Mm -hmm. uh, and Snape's like, where the fuck do you fight, you know, find that? And he's like, nowhere? And he's like, no, you little shit. I know exactly where you found it, because I am, you know. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah. Anyway. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? I think I do. Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I, I fucking noticed the red glasses. Chun's friend in class 1B. Tomi. And the name on four eyes is list. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the class 1 hallway just now. I got to find her. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh, wait for me! Ugh, yuck, yuck, wait for me, Mickey! Alright, where is she? She was somewhere around here before. It's a uh, pigtails girl, right? Yep. Yep. Where could she have gone? To class? She's gotta be nearby. Is she in one of the classrooms? Maybe the other side. Maybe the other side. Yeah, it, on other side it's not true. No, all the way down. All the way down the other end of the hallway. That one. Nope. No. So I guess we're just going in one B. Not here. Lurking cause cleaning. It's all good. Oh, you're good. No worries at all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Suddenly, I can't keep up. What are you even going for? <laughs> you can't keep up. 
Can't you ain't you ain't made oh. for this ride. Oh, yeah, I remember her now. Hey. Yeah. Um Start with the girls' bathroom. Yeah. You went to the girls' bathroom in the north building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions, anyways? Shut the fuck up and answer the question. You were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Oh, really? Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom, anyways? Yeah. Well. Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. He was Taco Night. <laughs> well, they do look the same as mine, but you probably noticed I'm wearing mine right now, so obviously they can't be mine. You got another pair. I know. So you got the two for one I deal. Most people usually have more than one pair. You got of the glasses. you got the two for one deal from Vision Works. Well, you yeah. know. I got you, you bitch. Bitch. And the red ones were on sale. That's Listen right. <laughs> These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. I mean, I've got two pairs of glasses. That's what I'm saying. Now, they don't look the same, but that's just... Well, yeah, just I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? I'm not blaming you. I'm just asking you what happened. Oh. You're not messing with me, are you? Actually. <gasps> She's our culprit. Oh no! You go. I really like her a yeah. lot. She seems so sweet. Right. <laughs> I saw her the day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. Miwako, what the hell? Oh, but I really did see you there. <laughs> there was there too. Wait, what? I feel bad for making them wait for me. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. Chan, Miwako, aren't you supposed to be at? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the. <sighs> you mean when? Sorry, Miwako. Fucking hate that. All right, continue. <laughs> what was that about? My anus is blue. I just. Ah, <laughs> uh, you have an injury on your leg. Yeah, like a really bad one. Uh, Usami Chan. Ignored me? That's not like Usami chan. Oh, so it wasn't her. Perhaps. So? Oh, I've never even seen that place. Seriously, Miwako? But I. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no. What's going on? Can't be right. No, it's true. I really did see them. That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami chan was with me the whole time. At oh. the front gate, remember? Oh, it's the fucking cyborg. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> it's the cyborg that did it. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> or android? Would that be more accurate? Robot. How Robot her. Look? She was looking big. Some other guy just came down yeah. the classroom and says that. Sure. <laughs> nice cover, dude. <laughs> Android, Android. Yeah, I said cyborg and I was like, that's not that's not right. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. 
Oh god. That she does was, remind me of something, though. She was funny. Oh, yeah. Kind of like how she does most every day. I guess she is on the track team. <laughs> but I don't really know. <laughs> that, re that reminds me, if we can take just a, a brief... I know we've been, like, this has basically just been a podcast with some game in it. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, okay, so remember yesterday we were talking about that one one guy that just didn't understand that the Avatar uh, d and like, tabletop... You, you weren't supposed to be, like, assholes to each other? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, someone we knew uh, in real life. Yeah. Yeah. We no longer associate. But there was another thing. So I did I did my own, uh, like, homebrew tabletop. It was uh, Dungeons & Gundams. D&G. Yeah. Uh, and in that, since his character was kind of on again, off again, he, he I, I basically souped him up and gave him a bunch of really cool stuff. Um... And part of that was that in the story, his character basically became, like, like was kidnapped by a cult and became sort of something of a, um, something of like a cyborg. And part of that is basically his body was, they changed his physiology so he was closer to like a vegetable than an actual person. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did this is because my goal, because of ha how his personality was, to, to have him exasperatedly yell, I'm not a pickle. And so, I left details <laughs> for other party members to discover. Mm -hmm. So it was like, so if the first thing was him like discovering from like the computer code thing that that he has like a um, he has like a um, like basically he's it's talking about his genetic code has been altered to a specific plant species, right? Mm -hmm. Which is in the pickle variety. Uh, -huh. uh and he's like, what? Wait, wait, and then someone. He's like, but but I'm not I'm not a pickle, and then someone some someone would find another detail that was that the fluid that was like they, that he had a thing pumping into him mm -hmm. was basically brine, mm -hmm. and so basically each person would find like another detail. So he'd be like he'd be like I'm not a pickle, but they'd be like well but you do have brine, but I'm not a pickle. It's like. Yeah, but you're of this particular family of vegetables. Like it, like it says your genes have been altered. Like, but I'm, I'm not. And then I think it was you that found the things. Like he has an expiration date, and that's what he just kind of like, like low key, just kind of, kind of like actually upset. He's like, I'm not a pickle. <laughs> and everybody just erupted in laughter. No, I said that he smelled like brine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, uh, I want to play the Avatar one since I mostly run Savage Worlds and Rift. I actually do have the stuff for the Avatar one. We were actually talking about that on stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I uh, told Bitter about it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned it to him like if he ever did want to you try know, doing try that for again, real. Yeah. Then... Yeah, we talked about maybe trying to do it with a smaller group or something as mm -hmm. well. Um, great pickles due to hormones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if he'd want to... Uh, he's kind of... Uh, what? I don't think you would have been interested for idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play the Avatar one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing about the Avatar one, we talked about this yesterday, but the main thing yes. is just it's it's more emotion-based. It's more role-play and emotion-based. Mm -hmm. Like, it, literally, you level up by learning a lesson. So, alright, so watch. So, VTM, what, what? What does that mm. mean? Vitamin? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, basically. Basically. Like, even combat isn't so much like doing damage as it is like changing. Ah. Oh, Vampire the Masquerade. I have not uh, had a chance to play that. I Vampire the Masquerade really, yet. I want to play it. And so. I actually want to play the fucking video game they made for it, too. I was literally looking like, at it earlier, too. I really Sounds want sad. to. Uh, yeah, no, it seems like it'd be amazing. So. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, but that was that was fun. I felt bad for him, and I gave, I gave him a bunch of stuff, and that's the thing, because originally I souped up his, his uh, initial starter mobile suit, with like an entire like weapon system that he could just fly around, and if he played it right, he could literally move across the map and like just 
wipe out entire swathes of enemies with with his immense amount of firepower. But he didn't move on his turn, so he was staying still. Mm -hmm. So another person in the party who has beam weapons shot his giant fuel tank, mm -hmm. which is connected to like five other ones, mm -hmm. and it ignited them. So they all explode, exploded, instantly melting his suit. Guess that's how you get a fried pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear him scream, I'm not a pickle! <laughs> I just thought that was funny because I'm like, uh, dude, are you sure you want to stay there right out in the open? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. one deep fried pickle. Yes, I would high five you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally got obliterated. Yeah. He did I was essentially an intent base where she was very much insane. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what's going on in... Sorry. We just keep getting so attracted. We're just, we're just so fucking interesting. <laughs> we're just too cool. Yeah, we're too, awesome. we're too cool for vacation right, right, Bible school. Chill out now. I didn't say that shit, alright? <laughs> you didn't say we're cool? You don't think I'm cool? I think you're cool. I think you're, you're cool really too. Cool. I think you're really super duper cool. Oh my god. <laughs> So now we got Terminators. Yes. Play the... I don't, I don't think they're gonna know what that means, Viridian, because they don't have any knowledge about I that know what, one. I know what Vampire the Masquerade is. Yeah, they don't know about the classes or any of the, the vampire clans or anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, definitely a game that I have wanted to get into. I just haven't had a group to play it with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it seems like we'd have to, like, really learn about some more stuff before we could play it. Yeah, yeah. But they don't get along? Well, I've heard no one really likes necromancers, so... With no reflection. Right! Are they, like, the beautiful ones or whatever? Like, the... Are they, like, the upper-class ones? she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it... Mm -hmm. She was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. Oh, so she doesn't know what Nachan looks like. Mm -hmm. Or who she is. So two oh, okay, hold on. I just completely don't know that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and? A girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. That's great what your GM did to you. Did you read that, hun? Oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. She, her character yeah. was paranoid, that's so she insane. made her yeah. made him right every time. Yep. So you know, uh, bitter one has done that a few times in our campaign, where she's like, come to this logical conclusion to something. Well, well. And I'm like. That's better than what is in the book. Like, you know, I, I'm almost tempted to like go with it. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe I will. <laughs> it's just if you haven't planned for it though, it's kind of like okay, I gotta redo some stuff then. But yeah. Oh, we can unlock this now. Oh. It's got the red glasses in it. Yeah. Although I am curious to see what glasses, red glasses girl whole, her whole, her whole deal is. Okay. So, like, I'm definitely going to go back around. I just have to yeah. see, like, what their mouse. I have four of nine for his. Uh, 30%, so. It's going to be a while. Yeah. Finale, my character screen. I have a right every fucking time. Listen to me before we get <laughs> Orbital Cannon. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fear if she was guessing that there's something horrible can't <laughs> do no for a fact. Oh no. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> great. Have we done zero percent? Oh we haven't locked her before. Yep, we literally just unlocked oh, her. Oh no. The art in this game is very pretty. It's really nice. Yeah. Nineteen eighty five. Oh man. Yeah. Successfully faked your death three times. <laughs> Another one. They've already got like four at the intersection. What are you How many boots do they really need? Oh. That's so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> Quite the observation she's she's making. She's so. Oh no. That bus is so old. Wait. What am I even looking at? Wait, where the fuck are you from? Wait a minute. That's not an old fuck. are so blocky. They look so. Oh god, weird. she's from. Oh no. I. What? What? She is she part. gonna end up being like the fucking idol on the TV that sings well? Oh god. With Giovanni like to fake her death, true, and then she murdered the guy who set her up and thought he killed her. This is kind of surreal. Oh my fu you're telling me it's surreal! Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. Ah, uh, who? Okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so crazy. How do they even talk to each other? Based around reputation, mine was literally feared. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that hair. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. What about it? What? <laughs> What even is that? A pompadour? A pompadour is uh -oh. cool. So weird. Uh oh. What the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. <gasps> I just said. I'm not above beating up a girl. Don't <laughs> even fucking try me. <laughs> <Start shit. laughs> Okay. What the hell are you, huh? Your hair. You trying to. Oh, no, he's following you. Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little. Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. Hey, don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please, carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. Is she not actually this girl, but the computer that was looking forward to getting a body? Hmm. Goddamn freaks. Right? Yeah. Like. <sighs> there was a point a bony demon worshiping vampires who tried to open the portal to hell. She was a Gen 5, basically demigods and vampires. So, what did my character come up with as a contingency? I guess I went around spinning what do you think she did as a backup plan in case they failed. I I couldn't tell you. Hmm. I don't know what you can do in a game like that. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh my god. Oh. Um Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all okay. may hear of your arrival. So that already. I was thinking about something, and then you just said it's not magic, so that I throw that out. Um. Very practical. Alright, so question Was this something more comedic or something a little bit more serious that uh, the character did? Serious, okay. Hmm. 
So as a contingency in case they were not able to summon the demon, or as a contingency in case they did? Yeah, I think that's it. Summon a bigger demon to crush it! <laughs> well, it wasn't magic, uh, what you did. It was something practical, so... Yeah! So, in case the portal of hell was open. Okay. Um, tipped off some exorcists that I don't know if that would even exist. But. Hmm. Make sure that the portal only opens at the bottom of a lake. <laughs> <laughs> the way the lake just pours in and puts everything out. Good tell, right? Generates some fighting in the Gen 5 is impossible to work, right? The way that uh, that it works is the, the greater the generation number, like the further back you are, the mm. less power you have because you're not gotcha. one of the first vampires. Yeah. Gotcha, I didn't know if it was yes. working that way or the other way. Yeah, 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 you know. sorry. <laughs> I know like a little bit about it. Um, oh. hmm. I guess I don't know what options you do you have available, so I, it's hard for me to. Yes. Right. It's like anytime you start a new role playing game or a tabletop game, it's like, okay, what can I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is allowed? What is possible? Uh, we had a party demonologist. She convinced the demon girl to make a car bomb that would replicate. <laughs> ah, a subject that I'm actually extremely yeah, familiar with. Yeah, I was with. like, well, you said magic words. Yeah. <laughs> Mechanos. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Hey, on on that note, um, my plan for killing Strahd and Curse of Strahd, I think, was really good, and I'm so sad that no one even considered it. Putting the stake in the coffin. Grappling him in one of the fights so we can measure him exactly, see how tall he was. The way we can approximate where his heart was. Then one of us slips away, goes to his coffin. Opens it up and puts a stake directly at heart, heart, like directly at the location of approximately where his heart was, so mm -hmm. that when he when we kill him and he reforms into the into his uh, his uh, his coffin, he's imme immediately staked. So who in our group would have been able to grapple? Um, Madi. Yeah. Madi was barbarian. Uh, just because you're a barbarian doesn't necessarily mean that you're great at grappling. And that wasn't necessarily her particular kind of style as well. So... She, she was the only one crazy enough to do it. Mm -hmm. Plus at that point I was playing Glint. So technically I could I could have stunned him. Mm -hmm. You could have tried to stun him. He has uh, those you, special you tokens. Yeah. At that point I was yeah. very efficient at stunning. Yes, but legendary actions are... And well, but that's, that's the thing, it's how we did beat him, though. We basically made him run out of legendary actions mm -hmm. through shit like that. So... See, I don't think the person who was running it at that time that did that fight did very well with you loving those. Or creativity, or anything yeah. like that. We, whenever we ran Curse of Straw, the campaign got split across three different DMs, which was just really not great narratively speaking, because it was all over the fucking place. Plus, one of the sessions, the DM got drunk, but, like, no one else did. Mm -hmm. So it didn't, it was just us trying to continue, and nothing was happening. Uh, yeah, and he also skipped, like, a f quite a few things. Well, we jumped around so much, I think, because we had so many different DMs, mm -hmm. is what happened. I just remember that at the end for that fight, I... Uh, when we were about to start the fight, I literally walked over to his throne and sat down and said, All right, move me. Right, right, <laughs> and right. Then he, and then the DM decided not to interact with me at all. I'm like, well, Right, I'm just your whole character, though, to, be is fair, to try to get people to hit you. Yes. To be fair, so... he also, he also like, bitched out of my, of my uh, mini boss, uh, Froggy Chair. Yeah, Froggy mm -hmm. Chair. I even got awesome. a 3D printed miniature of it and everything, and he just didn't do it right. Which, to be fair, he wasn't obligated to, but the fact that he decided to, like, he could have just not done it. Instead, he did it, and he did it dirty. It's Froggy Chair. Froggy Chair, just let, let you know, and then I'll, and I'll read the uh, thing, was basically just in a room that was, like, locked up with chains and had, like, written in blood on the walls, don't, 
do not release him. So when you go in, <laughs> it's just Froggy Chair sitting there in a small room. Yeah. But if you either wait to wait a few turns too long, or if you sit on it, uh, immediately we would play God Shattering Star as the person would receive a shitload of damage, whoever was the closest or who sat on it, and then uh, the Froggy Chair would animate and have the same stats as a Tarrasque. <laughs> It's a combination of party members for classes. Yeah, can you hear me breathing? Yeah. Okay. Um, our plan in Curse and Strive was hilarious. Ugh. Um, I was playing a Sha Shadar Kai. Mm -hmm. Uh, right had to the Raven Queen in her story. Basically an original freeform ascension who reset levels when she died. Sorceress. Uh, she made contracts on behalf of the Raven Queen. So, one of our party members was a former Straw Bride, but my character had essentially put <laughs> had essentially a psychic GPS collar on. They let her get kidnapped to figure out how to get in, then rescue the party member. Then, waited till daylight, woke him up, kept chasing him through the castle, till we lured him outside because we had Eldritch Knight, uh, for... I assume Berserker, mm. uh, Warlock, and Oathbreaker Paladin. He couldn't take legendary actions because we kept hitting him with holy attacks, forcing him to flee till we forced him to go outside. See, it sounds like you guys actually thought about how your classes were going to work together and how you were going to do things as a team. Mm -hmm. This was like probably the first official D&D thing we tried to do because we started with Mecha's homebrew d and which did not work like D&D at all. And uh, then we moved to actual D&D, and then, so our first experience doing Strahd with new DMs that were not used to DMing, never DMed before, was just not, not great. Um, <laughs> uh, we were very kill happy, like, and just, I don't know, a lot of shit happened. I think everyone kept changing characters, it was just kind of like... I don't know, it was a lot that happened. I will say through Strahd, I only had two characters. I, I didn't change characters, but my character did get... Well, no, I think I kept Jushin at the same throughout the entire thing, class and everything, but... Um, I technically had three characters. One of yours I'll, got killed, though, so, like, that doesn't really count. Well, originally, when we kind of just did it as a one-shot, I had one character when we were doing the... Oh, just the house. Know. Yeah. Um... But we were just kind of doing that as a one shot before, and then we moved into doing it for real. That's when I played one character who then died, and then the final character. So, two throughout the main story, but technically a third was there. Yeah, I see. Hmm. I don't know, I just felt like everyone kept trying to switch characters. Maybe also, Bitter One just had a lot of character ideas. Like, she has, she has, like, six or seven on backlog, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you guys actually didn't. Uh, the Straw Bride and I are the first characters, so I had to respect Hella a few times. But the original characters of the rest of the party did swap to play evil matchups with me and the Straw Bride. I'm just usually the group tactician in face. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know... I'm DMing current, like our current campaign, but I've been playing. I played the same character for like I don't know, like a year and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like several campaigns, I played the same character, and then I finally made another character that I played only a little bit, which I'm really sad because I love him. See, <laughs> see, here's the thing. But, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. That, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Here's the thing that I found. I. Everybody else seems to play a character who personality-wise is at least kind of similar to them. Yeah. I always try to play characters that are not like me in the slightest. Because I played a uh, Aarakraka Owlman Artificer who was like a Vietnam vet. Yeah, mm. I remember. A, uh, a, tabaxi, a tabaxi monk who was like a, a mailman who was... Who was uh, eternally indebted because of some really bad gambling decisions. 
And now I'm playing a Warforged, uh, a War. It's like Robocop. Yeah, essentially, <laughs> essentially a yeah. Robocop Warforged. But I would argue that like those are aspects of characters you enjoy, mm -hmm. and I think that's more of what I don't know. How I would say that my characters are much more outgoing than I actually am. Yeah, um, and I will say I will say bittersweet. Um, he plays characters who are, who are very different from Bittersweet himself. Bittersweet really, really tries to come up with something that he enjoys and he has all these character elements that he wants to include. I need to talk to him about Lolly and see what he wants to do with that because I know he probably has something in mind. Yeah. So. Yeah. Also, I miss Glint. <laughs> I know. Um, I miss Whenever I make characters, I usually try to take at least some aspect of myself and put them in. Well, it just makes it easier to connect to the character. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, it's it's really hard to act <laughs> on mm. the spot, you know, as someone that you have no idea what they think or what they would, you know. Mm. So. Yeah. So, uh. uh yeah. My last D&D &D was a monk, former slave, who was very stupid, but very, very idealistic, especially being chaotic. The setting monks were not a religion, were a religion, not an order, so I was able to be chaotic good. That's cool. I really, 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 really want to play a Rifts game one day, but no one ever wants to DM it. I, I don't even, it is. Um. Stop causing problems. No, you. I can't help it. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. Oh, post-apocalyptic future, cyberpunk-esque tabletop oh, that's nice. RPG. That sounds fucking cool. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. Mm, Rift has two either Savage so World or Palladium. Oh. oh, basically Warhammer, but good. So good as in story good, or good as in there's actually good in. <laughs> In the universe, <laughs> Warhammer has the far side enclaves. Those are actually oh right. Only... Well, you fucking play Tau, so <laughs> yeah. No, but the far side enclaves actually are just they're just good guys. Yeah, but there, there's like the fucking salamanders that are good. They're good for humans. They still want to exterminate Xenos. Well, you know. I mean, to be fair, you know, not considering, you know, exterminating Xenos is kind of heresy anyway, so, you know, kind of almost in a bad situation there. Like, even if they didn't want to. You know. <laughs> they would be killed. Yeah. 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 Like... <laughs> I mean, just look at Gilliman. Like, no one knows what he's done. You know. Good characters and way better story. Also, not gonna lie, even accounting for Elder's Gods of 40k. No one in 40k would survive. The rest of power scaling is insane. Uh, yeah, 40k does a lot of retconning with power scaling, and I think that's the issue. Every time mm -hmm. they introduce like a new super uh, being or, or character, they have to like downplay the achievements of the other existing characters to make them seem cooler. And I yeah. think that really damages a lot of yeah, the, rip orcs. A lot of the uh, the weight to these supposedly like. I legendary think, I think, people or characters. I think like I so, I still like 40k story. Like I think it's I think it's pretty good. You know, every, to everyone you know, to each their own. I will say 40k's biggest problem with its lore is that it's lore for a series that has has existed since the mid 80s. It's just it's kind of bloated at this point. Mm -hmm. That retconning and shit is almost inevitable. Um, and they're also trying to sell a product, right? Yeah, it's not right. only just uh, a game or you know it, it's they're trying to push new models or new new codexes or new whatever yeah. so like it's you know although some some of some of the lore is written to just actually be a decent story like i still think the story like if uh henry cavill makes his series i hope it's about raw and Gimian. from there when it's been ripped off a lot by dc and other mm. stories <laughs> yeah, yeah i can see that glitter boys I'm having my. You guys don't know this yet. I'm having my party currently fight the glitter glitter lichens in uh, our D and D right now. <laughs> oh yeah, that, they did just pop up. We started yeah. fighting the first. Yeah, group yeah, of the first encounter. Games rip guys. off of a juicer. <laughs> um, a juicer. So, I assume there are many. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, what was I? 
prevent Warhammer. Yeah. Um, I still would like someone to jokingly make like a cute like little book about Tyranids, because <laughs> you can't really write Tyranid lore. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a like hungry Hormagon finds a snack. Like, something like that? Like, I'd be behind that. Like, I will say, I haven't read it, but the, uh, they try, like, whenever I heard that they were making a Warhammer, like, like, youth, like, a young, young person's novel and everything, mm -hmm. like, I initially thought, oh man, that's just gonna be, like, really toned down and it's gonna be stupid. But then the book turned out to be, like, a story about a bunch of, like, a uh, bunch of, like, teens who are on, like, a, uh, a, a artifact world or anything, like, a bunch of Imperium kids and everything. And so I was like, oh, they're going to discover some stuff. And their parents discovered a, a Necron tomb world, and the rest of the book is just them trying to not be killed by Necrons. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know what? For what it's worth, it's supposed to be a Harry Potter-style adventure or whatever, but that's about as, as 40k as something like that can be. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I just looked up what you're talking about, Viridian. Yeah, it definitely looks like the designs are a little too similar. Yeah, there's definitely some issues. <laughs> Well, I looked up the the thinker and the shakes look crazy. Don't act like it's the same. We left my but yeah, no, I could I could tell. <laughs> 2025. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like, how old am I, technically? We don't want to answer that question. The age transfers. The same age? You're still 15? Yeah, I was gonna 15. say, this is not a good conversation we're having. Back in 2025. <laughs> what do you mean? She's still 15! Yeah, <laughs> just, just stick with your age and that's it. Don't... Well, that, that's what I'm saying. At all. I'm saying, I mean, you would have to keep track of it, but yeah, you don't just. Okay, okay. Here, here's my thing. Your body is still aging it, at the same rate, regardless yeah. of so what time you're So if you, time if you, you like, you. if you like, yeah. warped to the year three thousand, you would still be fifteen. Whereas like Fry, Fry was frozen. Mm -hmm. So while he was in hypersleep, technically, yes, he is a thousand years old. Because mm -hmm. his body still existed for that entire time. It was just suspended animation. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, I, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all we're all in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these things are important. God, did you ever watch Blue Gender? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, isn't that fucked? You have like an uncurable disease, and then you get put into cryo sleep, and when you wake up, like the person that was like the, the, the cute girl is like smiling, like oh maybe we're gonna I'm gonna ask her out after we come in. You wake up, she's in a shit pile. And there's just this horrible monster that's eating all the other people. He just, they just happened to crack your, your thing open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blue Gender's hardcore. I love that fucking show. I I the show. Society. The movie was not very good. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. Okay. I go help my mom and dad. Basically, um, the Splurge Earth civilization had conquered their own universe. It's terrified. I doubt you get the clearance to time jump anyway. So they time jumped to here, and you just orders. said that their world has been destroyed in twenty twenty five. I didn't want to get. Alright, everyone, this. remember the date twenty twenty five. Yep. World ends. Robots. All right. I mean, AI Squidward said the world was gonna end twenty twenty six. He lied. Uh, it's actually gonna be twenty twenty five. Uh, he only told us twenty twenty six, so we don't prepare it enough time. That's right, everyone is kind of procrastinators, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the blues from Blue Jenner are actually very similar to the Zyzdig, uh plague, plague of War Conquering Insights who reproduce faster than that. Actually, Viridian, have you heard of the Muv Love series? Curious about this. Ruined world. I never saw it myself. Oh. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool. Got it. Yeah, like what? Uh. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. 
Yeah, was, wasn't she the girl in space? In one of the early cutscenes, or was that a different character? Uh, different character. Okay. What I need is a little leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. The Zizniks and the Splurgers, they the barges are terrifying. Orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? Sounds like a not very fun universe. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, Mob Love is. She did compare it to 40k, so... Yeah. Mother Love is one that I want to play on stream at some point, but it's a very big... Like, it's a very it's big a game. Did it's a major commitment. Like, if we were to beat it in a reasonable amount of time, we would probably be playing it for, like, all all five days of the week for, like, a month. Maybe more. So, in 2025, and now, so, I'm way back, so, like... It would actually kind of suck um, to do it that way, which we probably won't. Era, they were shipbuilders, but they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D, and now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. So what you're saying, what you're saying with that one there is that whereas it's in that universe, it's a failure of diplomacy. In 40k, it's a lack of diplomacy. So everything back home's been destroyed? Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. So, like, did she know these people in her time? Ah, uh, we don't know. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Check her. The Republicans are a mess of Zephos and they're manipulating human groups from behind the scenes. They have Archie 3. Trying to stop them from destroying human Basically, they don't think humans can rule themselves. Nice save there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or something. The Archie thing reminds me of a concept that I was going to introduce in one of my homebrews. Where, like, there's a set of, like, AI-driven robots that are, uh... Half of them just wanted to exterminate humanity, but the other half view humanity as kind of like an elderly parent. They just kind of want to usher them into their twilight era. Mm -hmm. So they can fix the world's problems for them and make a new machine utopia. I I could use as leverage. Mm. So they don't hate humans. They just want to like. They just want to put. They just want to put the human race in a retirement home. <laughs> Which honestly, if we're if if humans are gonna go extinct, that's the way I want to go. There's this company called Shikishima Industries. Do you know anything about them? No, these are called DBs. They're the ones who make ships and things, right? 
gaming. What? His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Milako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. Yes. Those big mega corps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One <laughs> step closer to getting the dirt. What does she think is gonna happen? Racial tensions to the rifts. I see. I hate to say it, but even if she does get all that dirt on that company, who's she gonna tell? Right? So in 2025, I went now, I'm way back, so like. God, are you so focused on that? Because every time the scene changes, that one always lights up. Yeah, I know. I'm like. One track mind. You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? Jeez, chill! They're not here yet. Did they just ditch? Oh, don't worry, he'll be here soon. He's not the type to break promises. <laughs> so. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> that door guy. Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nanji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that, that would be her. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Fantasy Star Online too. Now that I'm l listening to it, like, yeah. <laughs> Real dog face, aren't you? Wow. Oh. The heck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Okay. Hold up. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? Right here. <laughs> Looks at him. I'm standing right here. <laughs> Why'd it have to be you? The feelings mutual, man. Please, can we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> what was... I could have sworn I just saw them. Where the fuck did they go? Is that when she got shot? Uh. Oh, she didn't get no. shot. She <laughs> shot. No, the other girl shot someone. Yeah. Uh oh. Usami -chan. Oh my god. Hey, we did it. We got to 2025, right? Yeah, this is what you wanted. Mission accomplished. You weren't waking up. I thought you might have died. You, you okay there, buddy? Ow. Yeah, he looks I like hoit my head. What just happened? I don't know. There was some kind of flash and... Then we were here. Damn it. Still alive over there, Captain Pompadour? My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dog face. Ugh. 
Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. <laughs> Please, we can't be fighting right now. Yeah, this is probably not the best time. Yep. It's really not. Yeah, if you saw the flash, you would probably not be here to witness this. You realize we yeah. were in school just now. Isn't this downtown? Way I figure it. That's a teleporting nuke. <laughs> the blast must have knocked us all the way over. Yep. Fucking knew he was gonna Again, get I referred to my previous statement. Okay, never mind. You're just a moron. Hey. Oh no. I really like her. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what happens. Save this one. Yeah, we have to save her. You oh. mission, everybody. She's so sweet. I fight for no country, no man. But this. This I protect. Talking again. Oh my god! Not right now! You got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? If we're here, then. The world got destroyed in my time. According to what Goto said, anyway. So maybe... Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. During the war now that Shikishima... Fucking high! One of those one of those words is correct. Ain't some kind of bug, is it? No way. The thing is huge. Looks like it's clear. This isn't the city you two know. It's hard to tell with everything messed up like this, but I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. 
girl's like a fucking sociopath. Right. She's like, no. Are you not freaking out? Why aren't you freaking out? <laughs> It's just a fucking prologue. Yeah, her shit's crazy. Mm. Let's see if it goes pretty or anything. Oh, pretty much nothing. Ah, uh, let's continue here. Yeah. Yeah, no, hers is so weird. Let's see. Yeah. Ugh, that might be a problem. This place isn't what it used to be. No shit. Back in 2025. You've changed. You back, know, like, back, what the fuck? What the back fuck? in 2025, it wasn't, like, destroyed and stuff. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I bet you that fetch Monica isn't even <laughs> here anymore. She's all dead and stuff. What a batch. What a batch. Also, what age am I? <laughs> also, how old am I? Am I like... <laughs> I don't know why this is the voice I gave her. I just... <laughs> Has Senpai doing? She was struggling for a while. But I think she's calmed down. We need to get her to a doctor. Maybe, but... How are we supposed to do that? Uh, hasn't been explained completely yet. Yeah. There's some some way that they can time travel. There's a, like an arch, right? There's like an arch at like a shrine. They're not. That seems to be related to time travel. They didn't do it by will, so. Mm -hmm. Um, but they weren't anywhere near that, so I don't know. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out when she wakes up. Anyway, once that moron gets back, let's decide what to do from here. Okay. Shinonome senpai. I saw her hanging around Goto. Oh, she's also Shinonome senpai is also the girl who was in the nurse's office when we were playing the other main guy. Oh, and, and she just said kept something weird, a different right? Name. Huh? She said something weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I need to rest me real quick. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Pause right here for you. Sleepy so fast now. Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, have you already told everyone that we won't be here next Friday? Yes. Cool. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out exactly our schedule though, because I think Mecca and I might stream on Monday and Tuesday next week to try to make up for like some lost time there. But I'm not sure, so... I'm sorry, Lynn! I'm sorry! It's okay! We'll be back, though. Yes. We're gonna probably stream both Monday and Tuesday. Um... Yep. Be back and better than ever. We'll see. And then the week after, uh, it'll be Monday... Wednesday with a collab, and then Thursday and Friday. So we'll have a lot more streaming we're going to be doing the week when we come back. So, mm. yep. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that event that weekend, I will be recharged for another year. For another year! Yes, exactly. Exactly. 
<sighs> Anytime I don't get to go to farm them, I'm pretty down the rest of the year. Yeah, it, um, it's something I'm looking forward to quite a bit. And I have been, so I'm like, okay. Talking about going to the con? Yeah, mm-hmm. we're talking about our schedule for next week and the week after. So. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Yeah. Special collab. I won't say who just yet. Yeah. But, Did yes. you message the one person about the thing? <laughs> oh. Fuck no. I forgot. Also, I don't I don't know if there's a day this month we could do it. You see, we would never abandon you. But that's what someone who <laughs> would abandon someone would say. Oh, God. <laughs> But someone who doesn't abandon people wouldn't even think about that being something that someone who abandoned someone would say. Ah. Okay, so Brittany, if you're still there, let me sell you on Mob Love real quick. Okay, okay? Oh my god, okay? we're gonna be here forever. No, we're not. No, we're not. Trust me. Trust me on this. Okay. So once upon a time, he plays this guy named Takaru, and it's a pretty... Okay, okay. So, he plays this guy's name Takiru, and he wakes up one morning as his, his childhood best friend is knocking on his door saying, Hey, it's time to go to school. And fucking, fucking like, Miss Perfect class president or whatever with, with fat old titties is, like, in his bed, like, Hey, man, I want to have your babies. And, of course, uh, our main guy here is like, Whoa, what a, what a weird set of circumstances. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so, you know, it starts off to a, what seems like a pretty... Pretty generic fair, uh, uh, this is Muv Love. So, um, <laughs> so it starts to a pretty, pretty, your, your typical fair, uh, kind of run of the mill, uh, visual novel. It's sort of dating sim ish. It's not really even a dating sim, it's just you pick paths. And you have like a whole roster of different girls that you can kind of pick with to have like an ending with. And it's, and you know, um, you have the childhood best friend and Miss Perfect Lady, who is a, uh, Weird version of Happy Lesson. I don't know what that is, but I feel like I also do. So, <laughs> so anyway, point is, you play through it, and it's your typical, you know, just, oh, classroom hijinks. Your, teacher's, your teacher doesn't dress appropriately for a teacher, but she's also a fucking genius and is talking about all kinds of, like, multi-dimensional shit and everything. Guys, eight moms who are all teachers. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway, so what happens, though, you play through the game, and when you get... Uh, childhood best friend and miss perfect class president lady when, when you get there when you get their um endings suddenly you un you unlock a new mode right a new story it's like cause the main game is muv love extra but you unlock <gasps> it's a uh muv love i think it's i think it's muv love uh ultimate or whatever and so the game starts the same as the last one except no no uh no childhood friend knocking at the door and no no uh, titty lady in your bed and you're like, oh man, I guess I'm late for school. Let me get up and go. And then you go outside, and there's a giant robot crashed into the side of a building, which your character, Taki, is immediately like, oh, fuck yes. I wo- I got isekai and now I'm in, like, a cool world. But when you go to your school, it's, it's, uh, there, there are, like, guards there, and they see you as a trespasser, so, because you, you're trying to, like, get in. So they arrest you. And yeah, maybe, he, maybe you're like late or something, so you're trying to like sneak in. Yeah. So no, no, no. He goes there, and they just tell him flat out, "You can't fucking go in." And he's like, "But this is where I go to school." And then um, your teacher, who is uh, different, oh uh, no, she she like interrogates you, only to find out that yes, you are you are from a different timeline that has a very has a very different history, like World War Two. Ended with a, a stalemate between the Japanese and, and the Americans, and uh, America nuked Germany. Like completely different different timeline. Japan still has a shogun. It that's how like weird it is. Mm. But more importantly, Earth has been in a thirty year war with extraterrestrial life forms called the Beta that just want to eat us. Like literally, they are just hell bent on destroying us. Not only that, they they eat everything. They eat like the environment. They leave continents as dead husks and so Takeru's uh, his ability to change timelines is important because he can get it can he can possibly help uh, change the turn of events. Can you look at your camera for a second? Yeah. Oh it's because it's too far from my face. Yeah. 
So, uh, so yeah. So basically, in the meantime, you gotta enlist because the Earth's population is down to like a billion or so, because that's just that's just how many fucking people have been wiped out, and all the world's militaries are so like strapped for personnel that they are literally literally hiring like they're literally in, uh, enlisting. Uh, drafting, drafting like high school students. Like the moment you graduate, it's like, haha, good luck, fucko. <laughs> You're in the army now. Uh, the man, uh, since since the laser class beta have rendered air superiority null because they can just like literally they can just look at a plane and say, bam, down. So uh, uh, you know, so instead they have tactical service fire fighters, which is this world's reason for why there are mechs. But they're flying mechs, and they're kind of, and they're really cool, uh, and yeah. So that's that's the plot is trying to trying to f uh, defeat the beta while also figuring out if there's some way we can affect the timeline and stuff. Which uh, spoiler there is also childhood best friend is nowhere to be found. But hmm, what's this brain in a jar? <laughs> what's this brain in a jar that keeps psychically calling to me? You know. So yeah, uh, Muv Love is great. I'm back, Miyoko. You've got some nerve. What? I take my eyes off you for one second, and you just go running off looking for your own house. We were waiting for you, you know. Yeah. How how dare you care about your family and belongings? Yeah, no, it's kind of a. Stuck here either way. You're really gonna give me that? Yeah. Yes, I am. So how was it? Before we get into that, here, have a drink. Copped it from a busted vending machine. Will it be real? He was looking uh, for Yusuke. You're a meshy. What is the drink? Me too. Like different drinks. We're not gonna last long without food and water. There should be cans lying around if we look. Um. Thanks. Yeah, you feel weird about that, don't you? Yeah. Fucking. Okay. Okay. Ice witch. <laughs> hey, I found a calendar. People who like around. that character say, "My favorite Ruby character is Weishni." Jeez. What? Wow. <laughs> Why is this isn't even that bad? What the fuck? I know. <laughs> I know it's a point. I was trying to be stupid. <laughs> trying to be hyperbolic. Yeah, how are you doing over there, buddy? Not doing great. Not doing great. Everywhere I looked, the place is falling apart. It's no different from here. But I'm telling you, there was some crazy shit out there. Like what? Kaiju. Dead ones everywhere. Hmm. Like Godzilla? Let's start with that one. Mm -hmm. So, did you find your house? You could say that. But I wasn't there anymore. Guess it got replaced by some skyscraper. Oh. Wasn't looking so hot, though. What about my place? Sorry, but it's the same deal. Place is nothing but a giant parking lot. What about mom and dad? Alright, your parents are now cars. In the parking lot. <laughs> They're now cars! Cars <laughs> in the parking lots! Wouldn't that be one hell of an apocalypse? Forty years have passed. Your guess is as good as mine. I wonder what happened to my place. One was like a metal centipede, big as a truck. Another one was real stocky, the size of a damn building. They were just lying all over the place. I never liked creepy crawly things. I couldn't stand to look at them too long. How did you know they were dead? How do you think? 
They were torn apart. Hmm. It was pretty obvious. Uh. What? You need to see it to believe me? You want to experience Rifts, watch tomorrow's stream, since that's the setting of my Savage Worlds game. We'll have to check it out. Yeah. Hmm. I should look for my place. I need to see if my parents are okay. Oh, that Oh. Hmm. So, dead kaiju or her apartment? You know what? Dead kaiju. Might as well. Alright. Two votes for dead kaiju. I'm gonna check out the kaiju. Oh, where were they? Huh? Hey, wait! Don't leave me here with him. Miwako, stay back with that second here. Thank you. <laughs> Over here. That is a doornail, right? That's a sentinel. Uh, no, that's not sentinel. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. Is this the city that we're fighting in? Uh, one of them. Uh, Megumi. Were they planning on fighting those things? This is some kaiju. It looks more like a machine. Come to think of it, I was talking to Natsuno. Maybe this thing's a big alien weapon. Hmm. Is this a control panel? For an alien machine, it looks pretty familiar. Guess uh -huh. that's so different. Oh yeah, is that the conclusion you're gonna draw from that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh that's fine, I guess. That's not fine. Don't go in there. No, what are you doing? Uh, he's no, 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 come on. He's got the blue glove. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no, comfy. No, no, not comfy. <laughs> I'm already run off to. What's up? Nothing. Just thought I saw someone. Over there, in the rubble. Where? Does this mean the other guy is uh, currently uh, walking around with her robot clone? Maybe. Ah, we don't know. Maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. Maybe this is the robot clone. Maybe you're a robot clone. I swear I saw it. Oh shit. Hide. Do, 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 Don't be do. stupid. What's your deal? See, I told you, comfy in here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not good. What is that? Something without Get a face. Here. Yes, the blue glow means it's safe. I guess so. I don't like that it has fucking teeth. Why would it need teeth, huh? Huh? Who designed it like that? You fucked up. <laughs> Make it be uncomfy as fuck. Ugh. Well, I know where it, you know, it is comfy though. In the blue eye. Because <laughs> anything, anything has taught us is that a reactor that's emitting a blue light. It's always a good thing. We really oh, need yeah. to get back to the other girl. Those things are fucking walking around. Is that an alien? How should I know? No, that's fucking. They're being made on Earth. One thing's for sure. <laughs> Run the blue gems will catch you. That thing was straight out of the movies. Exterminator, right? Oh god, it fucking sure like Necrons are here. <laughs> <laughs> Has their label on it? Yeah. 
<gasps> oh, that's not good. Didn't Shigishima also build the Sentinels? Ha! <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, they sure also, fucking did. I don't want to assume, but the Shikishima thing uh, sounds like a reference to um, to a Tetsujin, because it's the name of one of the uh, main character scientists from that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely might be. I might have picked that name as like a. Well, I think his, a his company's name was also Shikishima, means, just for this reason. It wasn't an alien attack. It was a man-made one. But why? What the? The Shikishima logo just popped out of nowhere. It's from the Kaiju's computer. Guess it's not broken after all. That's really concerning. <laughs> oh my right. fucking god. Jesus Christ, I don't want to pick the button. No. Is that red button? Choose. Is he gonna? What, is he gonna kill everyone? Uh, what, we gotta go for red. Blue button? Uh, we, we oh my god! Go ah, I was gonna say blue. <laughs> All right, so we gotta vote for blue. Uh, Mecca. Red. All right, two votes for red. Oh for red there. God. Blue is oh. healthy. Yeah. 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 All right, oh, we yeah, got another yeah, vote yeah. for blue. <laughs> All right. So. I'll be the guy and just choose white instead. Okay. That's the tiebreaker. Yeah, that's fine. Unless Lemon comes in here. I'll vote, you know. Oh, guys, that three for blue. That is three for blue. It is. last choice. I mean, to be fair, oh, okay. well, I don't know if Lynn was necessarily saying that, you know, who is the good choice. Because, you know. Okay, alright, we'll wait, we'll wait. Blue, we'll blue wait. was wait. very bad for him. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Uh. Who is Pavel shirking out, by the way? Uh, isn't he the guy who, um, saw, like, the blue flash grenade with the accidental, like, nuclear, you know? Portion. The like, devil's something. Oh, the like... demon core? Yes. That was an American <laughs> guy. So. Uh, oh, look, look, look. <sighs> oh, no. Yeah, I was right. You should have got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Still say blue. <laughs> but it wasn't uh Pavel, it was uh two guys actually. <laughs> Harry Daglian and Louis uh Sl Slotin Slotin in Los Alamos Laboratory. <laughs> you could just uh, well do white as the tiebreaker. <laughs> All right, well, we did get yeeted, so... What? I'm gonna I can yeet you in real life. Will you pick blue then? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd actually be curious to see how that would even work. I don't know. Yeah. As oh, I literally oh, get chucked uh -oh. across the you room. You broke us for just a second. You broke ah. us. <laughs> All right, but Lynn has redeemed her, you know, Halloween costume, so I don't know. Oh, my fucking God. Stop any of this. This madness. Alright. So, we're gonna go with... Does what... Do what your heart... Uh, what does your heart tell you? Yeah. My, my heart tells me that... I'm kind of hungry. That sounds like your stomach, not your heart. Uh, they both work hand in hand. Your stomach. If... 
It's kind of like the Spice Girls, you know. When they're like, hey, if you want to be my lover, you you know. Okay. Well, no. Like, if you want to be friends with my heart, then you have to be friends with my stomach. Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, it's funny. They go hand in hand. Because some when I remember the lyrics of that song, I think of that scene from American Psycho, the one where he 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 breaks up with his fiance, mm. and she when she realizes he's serious, she's like, "But your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends." Mm. <laughs> and then and then he's like, "Yeah." I, oh, the I, colors I, of the American flag. Yeah, I, I, thought, I don't know. That's a good point. He's like, "Yeah, I thought about that. You can keep." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we we are being held hostage right now. No. You've got three votes for blue. But we'll get heated if I don't vote for it. We're gonna get heated anyway. He's <laughs> got a point there. Brittany, I'm sorry. You hold no power. It's okay. <laughs> I'll put I'll put a uh, I'll put a ice cube down his shirt at some point for you, Viridian. Okay. Oh my god. Why am I being punished for this? I don't know. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm simply the button pusher. Yes. See, a perfect compromise. Blue it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. It's the goddamn button. Boner? Blues for the boner button. Yeah. <laughs> no match found. Access denied. Oh wow. Blue did fucking nothing. Alright, so red button. Oh my god, are they all doing the same fucking thing? <laughs> Time for the button I choose. Are you looking at this? <laughs> yeah, basically. All of our fighting, our bargaining, it meant fucking nothing. <laughs> all of that, all of that, for fucking no, no return. Okay. Let me try. Oh my god, it's gonna react to him. This stuff. What's the matter? You don't wanna fuck me? <laughs> oh shit! You're right, Lemon! It probably is the robot one. <gasps> and she doesn't have any biometric DNA to scan. Yep. Oh my god. See? Something came up. Of course, Meridian. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. I have to have them. I live off of them. That's the reason why we have all those weird tags on our Twitch now. Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! What happened? Wait. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. Oh, well, I don't know. I've never seen you, you know, do anything to beat that. Okay, that's fair. But that's because... I still approve, one way or the other. <laughs> but... I think you've got a beat. Congratulations. You get a Bishop Gold Star. Oh, literally as the character from the fucking... Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, not that I know what character you're talking about at all. <laughs> With the glasses. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> That's awesome. Twenty one eighty eight. Uh, what? Now pluck like a chicken. What? A chicken? No. <laughs> Taking a small break from show. <laughs> so our game to listen to 
choice audio. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, development? Terraforming project Terraform? in the year 21. Another planet? Like 22 or whatever the hell it said. Avreen, uh, I do not know who those characters are, and you know, no, I would never know <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Colossal autonomous heavy machinery D series D eight hundred surface excavation unit giant bowler. So wait, okay. This does that mean the humans are dead, machinery? or does that mean the humans have migrated somewhere else? Will they terraform Earth? I know one is much more likely than the other, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> These machines were made for planetary development. Yeah. What are they doing on Earth? Especially in the past. Hell if I know. Hmm. Okay. I will say, is pretty late. Mm -hmm. We might need to wrap it up. Well, that is the perfect time. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have available for the next time. Okay. Next time on Thirteen oh, Songs. Fuck. <gasps> She's a pencil. She's a swizzle stick. You can use her as a pool noodle. And now I'm holding up her arms. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so now we have an energy. There's almost 13 of them. Okay. Currently, we have, if we're going from an energy, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw eleven right now. Eleven sentinels. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. We don't have Sick Girl yet. Mm -hmm. And it feels like there's probably one more character that I am forgetting about. Um, the really tall guy. That was with, um, what's her name? Yeah. No, uh, we are definitely missing the one person who, very early on when we were doing his story, uh, we was introduced as a girl, but was then introduced as a guy later on. Oh, the scientist. Yeah. Oh, Who I seems know. to know a lot more about everything that's going on. I don't know if we're going to get to play as them, though. I just don't, I don't know who the characters end up being, yeah. so, hmm. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and go to end sleep. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Well, yes. well. Where am I? You're right here. Oh, uh, you're right here. Right next to ah. your old buddy Bishop. Ah, yes. Yes. Hi. Just getting, just getting with you. All right. And we are no longer buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and we are no longer yes. buddies. Yes, I think it's, yeah, I was going to say, I think it might be louder than us. But yeah, why doesn't Mecha use this well? Uh, I do, I do. It's just not on, like, the group streams usually, because it's just uh, computing power. The, so, we have done all three cam, like, all three, so, Freddy, we all stream in the same room together on the same computer. Yep. Yeah. So, we have two webcams hooked up for Bishop and I. Uh, we could hook up a third one for Mecca, but sometimes my computer, or rather Mecca's computer, just freaks out, and it doesn't like to let him use it. So usually we just play it safe and just do one of us will be a PNG tuber that day. So. And yes, Lemon, it yeah. sounds like someone is within licking distance. <laughs> be afraid. Be no. very afraid. Oh, gross. Uh. All right. Let's but, see. But I'm Bishop flavor. The one, th I, I can't <laughs> find it because it ruins my search history. But you know that, uh, <laughs> that's a great start. But you know, you know my, uh, you know the, uh, the lo-fi girl? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's one where someone animated that, but then it zooms into her foot and there's like a, like a, a ring style character that just like, like it's animated extremely well. Mm-hmm. It's like a ring style character that just, that just grabs her foot and licks it. <laughs> and I found I found that in like a group of memes, like one of the one of those like YouTube shorts was just a bunch of unrelated memes, and that was one of them. I, the, that one just 
all the other memes were like just someone getting hurt or it's like someone says something stupid and then I just get I get sw that one's like a baseball bat to the face mm. uh, ring is in ghost girl yes uh, who do you guys want to raid tonight? Okay, uh, uh, of our options that we have, I'm gonna say we haven't raided, uh, Katsu in a while. Uh, Katsu? Yes. Okay! I think Katsu's doing karaoke tonight, actually. Ooh. So well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. confirms he's a degenerate. Katsu! I- when have I not been a fucking degenerate? Oh, Katsu just stopped. <laughs> oh, oh, did we- okay. No, we didn't- we didn't raid yet. Okay. okay. In that case, uh, give Zan some love. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go with Zan. She's playing Coral Island. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coral Island. Sorry, I'm getting the link. Alrighty. So we're gonna go raid our good friend Xanthrus. Uh, she is a lovely, lovely VTuber that does all sorts of variety streams. She tends to do more simulator-based streams. This looks more like a, uh, I don't know what you'd call this type of game. Yeah. Looks like a crafting, mining type game. Not Minecraft, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Har Harvest Moon style. Kind of Harvest Moon. Yeah. yeah. There you anyway, go. Good night, as always. We'll see you Monday for more shenanigans. Yep. And Tuesday for even more shenanigans then, too. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll post our schedule on Twitter. Weeks. So. And until then, again, I can't stress this enough. The guy, the guy who says that he is me, no, that's, that, he's pretending to be me. I'm the real Mecca. Good night, everybody. Alright, love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll I'm trapped inside your screen. Weekend. Help me get out. Bye. Bye.